Yes, we are live. Huh? We are live. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good uh, Wednesday morning? It is Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday morning. Justin Trudell is here. Jack Coleman is here. Stephen Gloucester is back. Was he here last week? He was. This is a, mis- this is a mistake. <laughs> and uh, Chris Clemmer is here. Chris, yeah. good morning. Stephen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> that, uh... I think Dr. Benton was too mean to Carter on ER. I think he just made a better doctor. I was watching a little bit this morning. He's awfully tough on that first season. He, he is. I mean, like, it sounds, lighten up. It sounds like that was also kind of the stuff behind the scenes, too. Right? I thought they were friends, Eric LaSalle. I think they know. became friends. I think you look even friends. otter. You okay? I look otter? Yes, you <laughs> do. I'm getting older. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. You're, it's weird watching you age. I don't see you much. I, it's weird watching me age. <laughs> yes. <laughs> me too. I believe it. It's not easy. After, no, I, uh, after your 97-hour sojourn in the... Uh, no, it was 100 hours. It was 100 hours. Chris, and I, I'm going to stick with that. Chris, I, it's, it's, a sad, it's a sad thing to stick to for you. Chris. Just, you're better than this, Kirk. You can go coach your basketball teams. You yeah, can I joke will. around with yeah. Gia and Francis and all those people. Mm-hmm. But if you die and they cut you up, it's KMS in your body. You're not New York. You're Kirk Minahan. I, I'm te- you and I both know it was 97 hours. It's 100 hours. You're full of shit. We both know that. You saw, see, see, you saw a shadow. See, it is KMS in my blood because I know you're full of shit. That's the thing. I've been listening to you for <laughs> I a I literally decade, was I- on my, with my good friends Dave Porter and right when he texting away. Yeah. And we, we, right away, we're like, that's, it's over. He walked oh, out. So you, that was the committee he spoke of? Yes, it was. It was yes, that's, yes. That's some committee. <laughs> well, I mean, look, <laughs> we. Else. I think Whitney was open to uh, think it was hundred hours, but the minute I saw you go and look out there, it, you saw you saw Shadow when it was over. It was over. You're done. It's not Groundhog Day. It, I was gonna say it was like the Groundhog. He he saw a shadow and it's over. Uh, you you were down on Clemmer, right? Well, the sleeping. Was he? The was whole he, was sleeping he, thing. But you were kissing his ass this morning, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, absolutely. I, I, yeah. If I, I would Chris. I would honestly just lay low. He has a dream job at Barstool, and any of us would walk to Manhattan for a job. So maybe it's time for Chris to just enjoy his time at Barstool. Yeah, call the, with everything you've accomplished leads. now, maybe just relax in your but laurels. Just don't, and just, just, just be, you, what else could you do? Well, he says in that same clip. Speak right? of the microphone as well, Steve. Oh, please. is it not? You better not. There go we go. Ahead, yeah. uh, there, there we go. He, sa- he's, he also says in that clip that... Uh, I, I'm going Clemmer to, doesn't afraid. Clemmer listens to everything. He does. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I do. You listen to this. You listen to the show. Well, and apparently he's going to be on. So I'm like, okay. oh, I'll listen to the last episode. You're, I'll, you're ahead of me. I'll, I'll do the consistency podcast. Sure. And uh, he may be consistent, but he, he's it's, oh. it's, he's wrong a lot. So he's, how am I wrong? So you say that I'm going to end up back in New Hampshire? Well, I mean, because if you keep on before you know it, he's going to be back in New Hampshire. Did you not watch the name show? Oh, I know, but if you keep on going at Dave, I mean, eventually but he, he's going to. What did Dave say the on the show? <clears throat> What's that? I think what? the opposite. Yeah, well, I told Chris the other the other day before Dave told him he's you have a job for life. I, yeah, I mean, you never. Dave gonna, literally says it on the show. I know, but you know, one day Dave could snap. He could. Dave could say you're gone. He could. I mean, he could I fire anybody. Could. I mean, he could sure. fire you, Kirk. I mean, you could definitely fire me without fire. any. I will say this: I think Chris is more secure long-term at Barstool than I am. Really? Well, I cost less. <laughs> that, yeah, well, that, well, that's, that's a lot less. Thing, yeah. And, like, my my moments can be extreme. Mm-hmm. Like, Chris, like, walking in out of a stream is one thing. But well, when I'm I lose my mind. And I'm going to carve you up. It's pretty right. extreme. <laughs> right. yes. Take that, Meek Phil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's, my, I've gotten, I, I, I'm sure I'm, I don't, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm just saying Chris is, guys like that, are very safe and they're good. Yeah. They're necessary. Well, the I'm company. sure if he had to get rid of people and he's going through the list, I think Chris might be more on the safe side than, than not safe. For sure. I, yeah. I, I'm only, I think, I think all content people for the most part are safe, you know, I, unless extreme things happen, which we may get into as the show goes on. But, uh, uh, was, were you here? When was the last time you were here? It was with Gus. It was with me, I think. No. Oh, it oh, was. It was, it was, it was oh, definitely oh, Gus. This, okay. is, no. this is the first time me and Chris are uh, yeah. on, on the same side that we've been, together in the studio it's so true. so what every other time we've been enemies we've been oh, yes. oh that's I right yeah yeah i, yeah. <clears throat> I understand Justin and i are very good terms now. you are oh yes. yeah oh, okay oh good congrats one of your colleagues your co-workers we are you work for the same company we do barstool sports <laughs> we do it's fucking unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> the fucking world we live in <laughs> side to side together Jeez. we make and one if, and if you re yeah, yeah, we make one we need two normal size what's that steve if, if things worked out with you at WEI, none of this would have happened. Certainly not. This is <laughs> yeah. honestly kind of what I had in mind when I yeah. left, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> this, so This uh, was your dream. Yeah, so here we go. So we got a busy day today, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez, we're running around all, all over the, the, the 
Commonwealth and other states that he's filming stuff for Portland, which is a week from Saturday. Um, I saw you tweeted a fire emoji at Casey Smith. I did. Are you <laughs> are you starting to are you trying to plant a seed here? <laughs> Not to be. Are you? Because uh, I can I can see it. I just come on. <laughs> what? Well, you did it. I know I did it. So are you are you kind of? Why wouldn't I? Oh, right. You know, you just, you know, right. you throw something out there. And yeah, right. You never know. See where it goes. You know, you know, you know, Kirk, you know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. know. I don't know. She'll no, be in Portland. No, no. She'll be in Portland. Yeah. Okay. Right. Did she reply? I got to buy a new emoji? shirt then. <laughs> shirt and a tie. Uh, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't go too extreme. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, she didn't reply. No. She didn't reply? No. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. care what you do. Mm-hmm. Just put your penis away. What's that? Who was that? The old boys. Had a oh, good oh, they had the masturbator. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they did. That's true. The B-O, my friends, the Bo boys. You would like that podcast, Chris. I know, I know. I they go over bo- they go, uh, heavy in the box office every week, and they're good. They're funny. They're not like yeah. super <laughs> uptight. So I, I like them. What are you laughing? At? Just the the Casey Smith picture, and why wouldn't I wear my brand new hashtag Frank Lock shirt and just fire? Emoji. Fire. That's right. Meaning you thought she looked like fire, like she was on fire. She was on fire. Yeah, like a burn victim. <laughs> that's <laughs> I'm gonna, that's not a compliment. I'm not no. good at my emojis. I need somebody to. Yeah. Train me on that stuff. Well, yeah. well I'll get there. Um, Who'd you say Castellan? He'll help you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we're taping trivia today. Rematch of the finals last year. Oh. The, uh, really? But I think we're playing Brandon and Fran and PFT. I thought it was XYZ. No, experts. Oh, okay. Right? That's the experts, I think it's right? XYZ. Mm-hmm. I'm Who's oh, XYZ? I think you're playing XYZ. The one, the one you retweeted the other day said The poster XYZ. had XYZ. Oh, I, was still, I thought we were playing the champs. No. Oh, who was XYZ? That's Vibs, uh, Large, Large Vibs. and uh, Jake Martin. Oh. Pat Floyd. Okay. They're a pretty uh, good team. I know, but there's no juice. To, we're going to lose. <laughs> I, I was ready to beat Brandon because we're starting to play well. Honestly, ever since we were down like 8 nothing, you guys or whatever, we played well at the end of that match. Played yep. really well and lost in overtime the other night. So we had some momentum going. And I was like, oh, good. Well, we, we're going to beat the champ. We're going to beat the team we beat in the finals last year. Now I don't even care. I'm going to play Large, who's a nice guy, but whatever. Vibs, fucking zero. And Jake Marsh, the biggest zero on God's green earth. Like, the guy who does play-by-play for the Celtics is Napoleon compared to Jake Marsh. <laughs> like, I don't even... Uh, I don't want to play. I don't think I'm playing. This well, has like, like, been a rough season. Yeah, we're, and a rough season for us, too. We're, we're in the league in scoring. I, I mean, I don't really... We've been inconsistent as hell. <clears throat> like, uh, it's, this season's been... I'm going to be first team all league. Maybe when I might lead the league in scoring again. I, you know, I... We're a team, though. We're a team. Yeah, but you pick your team. So it's like your fault. Yeah, sure. Well, it's not my fault. It, I mean, it's not my fault. Well, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, but I mean, <laughs> all I know is there's one team in the league right now. I can guarantee you, if they win one match, they're in the they're in the final four. That is. That's true. us. Yeah. I put us in that position. I'll say that. Yeah, that's the great negotiation yeah. heist so, of uh, 2024. Best friends, but you know, if we yeah. win, if we win one match, we're back in. You know, in the bad guys back in the uh, in Chicago again. So we're all be. Uh, as you will be April 11th. Yes. Where I win. I don't think you think you're winning that. My whole goal is just to make the first cut. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I think I played with you. It was me, you, Frank, and... Yeah, uh, you're very, very cold to me. My, and, no, my uh, second day at the job, you yep. couldn't have been more of a dick. Yep. Wasn't it Content yeah. Kim? Content Kim, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she didn't make, give me any cookies during that round, but that's fine. It was me, you, Frank, and Content that's Kim. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, Frank wasn't very nice to me that day either, so... Good. <clears throat> you were <throat> you were mean to me for no reason. I was trying to win a tournament. No, no, no! You were no, you were being a dick. Something to me. must have happened, though. You must have. Been no, doing you had something. To, you were. You were doing you something. You concocted, imagined something where you didn't like me, and because I got I a would, job. If I were you, I blame the people who clearly put us together for that reason. Well, that was Hank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, blame him, that idiot. So oh. there you go, my teammate. Who's, I'm sure will be great today. That's what we're playing. Yeah, yeah. It, oh. it says, I texted Jeff as Kirk playing X Y Z or the experts. He hasn't gotten back to me. So. Oh God! Why not right. just get a nice solid win? Like a nice little Some of the largest nine eleven stories again. Like can I just I just want to fuck. Can I just I, I just want to fucking and you know, Coleman acts like he's Jesus Christ. So I don't, I don't think he's Jesus Christ. Uh, Coleman's <laughs> Judas though, large. That's true. He turned his back on him. He turned his back on large. Tough guy. Tough guy Coleman. Tough guy. Oh, go ahead. Coleman. Everyone, uh, the, what, 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 is, what is this? You know who hates Coleman the most? I spoke to him for a while yesterday. He was slurring heavily. He was mutt in the conversation. Oh, he I, fucking I hates. I like, he actually like, like we, we all like Coleman. Like Coleman's a simple, like stupid fat, you know, kind of dumb. We're probably on, pigged man. out last night. No. Loser. But Mutt hates him. When I was talking to Mutt yesterday. He's like, I, he's like, I just don't like the guy. He always has. Oh. Which is not like Mutt. <laughs> no. He, like he likes everybody. It's because I've called him out. I've like, called him out on bullshit before too. I, I guess I never have. No, I know, but <laughs> you guys go way back. And I'm I the guess. youngin', I oh. guess. He is doesn't like the youngin'. Class yeah. warfare? I got a Mutt thing. Go ahead. He reached out to me last week. Well, the story, he Steve. might be he might be looking into what I what I do 
Do we have me about the <laughs> Oh, question? really? Yes. Let's go. Yes. Don't be afraid to tell the story, Steve. Yes. Tell, well, yeah. what, did, what did he, he say? He said, he goes, how does that Amazon thing work? Oh, oh I, sent him a, I sent him a couple of links. <laughs> Gave him the updates on what I do. Oh my god! And he was so happy. He's like, "Oh, thank you so much." And, then, and I was like, "Are you worried about having a, a celebrity competitor like that in the in the region?" Him? Yes. No, him. no, he's no? fine. I, I th- you'll but, be, you'll be way. He's gonna be terrible at that. But why, was it, was why can't it, he go work in New Hampshire or Providence or something? Yeah. He. So I think I don't want to tell tales, but I believe he. There was like a TV spot in like. So I guess Manchester is the ABC affiliate. WMUR, right? which I have where I live, it's still. We have Boston and the Manchester yeah. affiliate. So I think the sports anchor job was open. He tried. He didn't get it. That was a few months ago. Oh. Yeah. So for him, after a few like a few months, he's got he's got to relax. I mean, not all of us work as hard as you have over the years, Chris. Like sometimes he takes some time off. He looks at his dog. You know, he walks around. You didn't work for like five years. That's not true. <laughs> it's it's the, first, the, the entire time you're on the show, you weren't working. I wasn't here for five years. Whatever I, it was, a year it was you were working. A year I didn't work. Yeah, you didn't work. I didn't crisis. work for a year. It's true. What's that? It was a health crisis. That's true. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. It yeah, was a true. pandemic, Kirk. That's true. Uh, XYZ, I, by the way. Jeff. I think I'm out. Okay, I'll text him. No, nah, I'll do it. But I thought we we're playing the experts. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Ugh. It takes the juice out of the game for me. And we moved our schedule around for this, like three three days in a row. I think it's it's tonight, too. What do you mean? Like the drops tonight. Yeah, on the scheduling, it says it comes out tonight. Who cares? Usually he has like a day. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with team I'm playing? Why do I care? Nothing Why did you say that though? Because Justin had said it. So well, I I'm, not, I'm talking oh, to yeah. Justin. Shut oh. up. Why would I? Why would I care when the? What do I care when it drops? Because he's been moving it. He can't move it again. Well, he could move it again. It would drop a different day, Justin. I guess, but it's in the fucking moon. He's already committed to Wednesday. <laughs> Jeff Freelo, loser. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, go ahead. So that was just it. He he reached out. He we seem to afraid help. to tell the story. There wasn't much to it. He messaged me, which I caught by surprise. He never does. You caught the message by surprise. I, I was shocked. Just plucked it. Yeah, I, I was yeah. shocked. Kellen, ah! Kellen Winslow from Dan He Fox. asked me about you know yeah. how it works, so I gave him a little bit of the background, and he was all happy. So how does it work? So I, I reach out to you. He reached out to me. He said, okay, where, but, do, where do you go? How do you set yourself up with an account? So I gave him all the details. An Amazon account? Yeah, there's a seller account that you go gotcha. to. Gotcha. Okay, I don't know this. So I gave him all the details on, on how, how much it works. How much do you have to pay to buy? Is it like a it's, buy-in? It's like... Thirty dollars oh, a so month it's nothing. that okay. you pay. Okay. So I explained how it worked, what website he had to go to, gave him all my information. There's no way he's doing all this. There's no way he's doing no that. Chance. No he way. He doesn't have the drive. Not even for that. He doesn't no, have the drive. But I thought it was something where at least like, wow, he's showing some initiative. He may type. He reached out. He may type A and M on Amazon. That's about it. And then call it a day. Yeah. And then the next tomorrow he'll, they have, they'll type an O. Like he'll just kind of it'll take him a couple of weeks. Yeah. But yes. I, I asked him, hey, if you have any more follow up questions, let me know. Haven't heard from him. So yeah. Well, how long ago was this? Last week. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Because that's, cause in, in his mind, he's not right, I don't think. But in his mind, that's an easy job. Of like, re, what are you, are you basically? Reselling. Re, re, repurp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Resell, buying things. Yeah. yeah, so those sneakers, whatever, they get yeah. sent back to you, you resell them. Resell them. And you're doing well. Doing very well. Yeah. Yeah. Six figures? No. No, no, no. Okay. No. Seven? <laughs> yeah, seven. <laughs> close to six figures? It's mid... I, Getting close. I That's mean, good. yeah, it depends right. on you know how much I do it and you know how yeah, frequent yeah, yeah. it is. But that's your sole source of income. I do that for the most part. Yeah, what and then I'm also OnlyFans. What else? What, yeah. else are, what else are you doing? <laughs> no, I I deliver too for UPS. I told you about. This oh yes, yeah. So yes. I do that on the side too. So it's wherever I can get good income. But it's you know if you could piece together. You're a hustler. I was gonna say, I, he's gonna piece it. together. You know, a, a decent living. So yeah. this asshole sitting in his man cave in Connecticut. I was just you know, surprised you reached out. Me too. That's kind of sad. That actually is. That's rock bottom. Is it worse than twenty dollars a pizza though? No, taking twenty dollars from his dad for the pizza. That's <laughs> a little, a little, a little <laughs> That was. But he's a loser though. I, 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 you know. Have you met him? I've never met much. <clears throat> no, it's really exciting. <laughs> you won't believe how exciting. <laughs> I want to meet him. I, I think we have a lot in common. You do? I think so. Like We're what? The same oh, age. We monkey both boy, love baseball. Man, you know. Sports. That's your New Hampshire connection. Well, yeah, yeah. Did you listen to him in New Hampshire? Or no. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He talks about those days like it was like him and Rich Keefe, like it was like Mike and the Mad Dog in 88. <laughs> you know how brutal it was. Ugh. What else is going on? What else is going on with you, Clemmer? Uh, did rat race uh, last mm-hmm. week. Heard that one well. Went really well. Um, yeah, you get the March Madness stuff. Obviously, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not super involved in that. Baseball starts up next week, which is big Why don't for you me. give me one of the names of the people who are afraid to speak up in New York? 
No, I'm not going to do that. Why not? <laughs> because people, Why did you get so mad? Hot because now. Well, I was trying it's to answer you. It's a perfectly legitimate question. It's a perfectly legitimate question. I was trying to answer you, and then you did your correct minute hand when you start it's just interrupting. You'll ask a question, you interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. So I'm like, I got to nip this in the bud. I got to call it out. You didn't get solely me in interrupting, using interrupting as a method, as a Kirk minute hand move? I would say uh, you have it down to a science. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think I, I can figure out a couple of the names, but everyone then said you were full of shit. Are uh, they being full of shit? Um, no, I definitely, so I definitely said, I shouldn't have probably said fear. So we taped that on Monday. Friday was the day when I walked in and everyone was terrified. Right. So like fear was kind of like in my mind sure. where had I had that same interview or same, uh, talking with Ke Kevin and fights <laughs> two weeks later, I probably wouldn't use fear. Kevin threw you under the bus. Yeah, I mean, big time. When, when you went talk on, to Portoy privately, went on KFC radio. Said I do it. Did a total one eighty. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, just threw under the bus. Thanks. God, uh, Kevin one hundred one. That's that's fine. Uh, Kevin's also. I mean, Kevin's also been really good to me. In, you know, with Rat Race and other stuff too. But yeah, yeah I was surprised. I'll put it that way. When I listened to KFC radio, you, I was shocked. You be participating in the show and tell that they're doing in Central Park in a few weeks or no? I will be sure. Okay, right. sounds what like about go karts. Good, when sounds that like gonna be good content. <laughs> what happened to the one where you? Did, you guys drafted and like did skits or something. Yeah. So, uh, content well, draft. one just came out. Uh, the content draft. One Which just one? came out. The, like the man Olympics came out that the Marty Mush's team. Did. Oh, I didn't see that. I think okay. our team's um, comes out April 1st. Exciting. Um, Very exciting. I yeah. Remember. So, I mean, uh, yeah. But I, I don't know. I would. Yeah. I, ne I never say no to content. Okay. Of course. Good. All right. What do you say, uh, Justin? Uh, Jeff reached out and it was actually supposed to be the experts. Um, so he said, weird. I told him that yesterday. I said it was Jake versus Rico. Hoops. He did not tell. Oh, he did tell me that. It was supposed to be. He did tell me that. I apologize. Experts, he did tell me that. But his schedule got fucked, and he hates to move it to today. And experts couldn't go today. Fine. <sighs> Whatever. I'm probably gonna throw that game. <laughs> it doesn't really matter for you guys at this. Of course point. it does. No. Of course it does. So, Talk about you got you got you got to get you do have to get a little momentum going. You got to win some games. Got to get a few wins. Been won yeah. a game since fucking October. So I mean, we, we got to win. Like I mean, we don't have to win, but we you know. I'd like to. First of all, we finish in the top four seeds and. On our own, the buy the whole trade thing is irrelevant. What, what's say you guys get knocked out the first round? Are you going to make changes? Yes. You have to at that point, right? Yeah. If we don't win the championship, there'll be changes. I'm driven by I'm championship driven. I've won the title. The only guy in the room has won the title in trivia. So, you know, for me, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I have a couple of names in mind. No, I mean, I'm, no, our team's like, a mess too, so I get it. I like this Ohio State guy. He seems like he's not too into himself, which I like. I think he'd be a team guy. Yeah. You know, he's you know he's not the deleter, which is no. good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you see, oof, he is might be my least favorite person at the company right now. Really? Really? Yeah, maybe. You don't like ranking snacks? It's not that. I don't like what did he when he put out that message of me going back and forth with him about Kelly Keegs. When he said at the end of it was like, hey, I'm gonna post this Valentine's Day thing. And he left left it like I'm a bad boy, Kirk. I said to him, you should do that. Yeah. Literally, I, literally, I was like, if you did, if you posted that, go. If you wrote that, go for it. Did he ask you to post that? Like, in other words, did he say, hey, I'm just so you know, I'm gonna like post these no. DMs. No, I, I don't like that. Movie. That's bar stool. Like, it's like okay yeah. to me. It's sort yeah. of content. I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Well, that and the deleting, right? You didn't. Like dele he deletes yeah. left and right. They just yeah. acknowledge you delete stuff. I'll take him down. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm kind of working. I have a like an eight month plan. Oh really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just starting. This is this is step one. I'll see him in Chicago for the mini golf, right? Yeah. I get. Yeah. No, he's doing it right. Yes. Yeah. We, yeah. I, it was the first time I meet him too. Uh, I met, met him, him at the free throw. I think briefly. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know, Justin. I said. I just said that. Yes. What are you? What are you my fucking. <laughs> what are you? My watcher? Yes. 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 You seem angry at these guys lately. Because they suck. I feel like the last two weeks you've really been. Yeah, they stink. But what do you? I'm stuck with them. I hire them. What am I going to do? Who else am I going to hire? I hire fucking. Uh, A Mick. Fucking Mick. Mick. Yeah. Mick, who am I going to hire the b b fucking Rico's guys? You know, who am I going to hire? Jet Ski? I'm stuck with these guys. <laughs> yeah. Jet Ski's great. Oh, he's a tremendous talent. A generational talent. He's on talent. our basketball team. <laughs> Why did you get a well, that changes too. everything. Yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> Is the season over? We, uh, yeah, well, see, that season's over. We started a new season. We just had tryouts. Oh, okay. Was that filmed? Yeah. Wackiness? Uh, no, no, no. Not, not really that wacky. Who no. got cut? Uh, we finishing up trials this week. We have another. We have like another group that could make the first one. So we could have our team set by the end of the week. I think it's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, what, what's going on, with you guys? Uh, still, still going strong. Feeling great. Okay. Um, I was yesterday kind of caught up in uh, <laughs> reading some of that Castellani Francis stuff. Yeah, uh, Jesus, yeah. God Almighty. Francis absolutely just eviscerated him. I thought he sure did. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. So I. I, I I don't particularly care for Castellani, if I'm being honest. Like, just things that I've heard that he is 
set about me that I don't want to specifically get into. Oh. I'm just trying to be the big, bigger man. I didn't know this part. Yeah. So, you know, if it if he wants to bring it up, you know, if he wants to bring a pebble, I'll bring a nuclear bomb. So, um, he then wrote like a, a pity party blog about not being invited to this thing. Who are you with on this thing? The college basketball. Uh, who, my teammates? Yeah. Uh, Frank, um, Francis, okay. and uh, Little Sass. Okay, so 10 grand each if you... Uh, That's correct. Okay, so my, my partner is Rico Bosco. Yes. College basketball expert. He's watched <laughs> five or six college basketball games this season. It seems to me. <laughs> we have New Mexico. Yes. Uh, so we have 20,000 each if we win. Though I can see Rigo calling me like, you, you think maybe because I picked the team, like, <laughs> 30, or calling whoever's in charge of like, because I imagine I'll just go to our, when we get paid or something. I'm sure. I have no idea. I've never won one of these things before. Right. I'm sure I don't that's know. how they'll do it. It's I don't even know how it works. I don't even know if I get paid. I haven't looked at my checking account in like five years. I assume I'm getting paid still. <laughs> I have no idea. You guys know what that's like. You actually I, got fired back in Yeah, time. I have no idea. I could be doing this for free. So, but I can see Rico calling whoever that is and, and being like, yeah, Kirk said it's fine. Like, you know, he just wants like two grand. I'm going to take, like, <laughs> yeah. take the 38 grand. So, Castellani did not get invited for this. Correct. Uh, and so he wrote a uh, blog basically whining about not being invited. Like, I think in dispute, like, and then just taking random shots of people, which I have, of course, no problem with. Feilerberg, Kevin, Francis. Yeah. The New York Jeff. office. Yeah. Jeff, whole. the New York office as a whole. Fine. Like, we're, like, you work for Barstool. So then Francis just unloaded on him in a, in a blog post that I got a sneak preview of before it was posted. And I was like, woo, jeez. I, I was surprised given Castellani's history that I was like, is Dave going to let this one fly? But I didn't ask Dave. I'll ask him Friday, uh, probably. I'm sure he's going to say, well, like he took shots. Like that's how it works. Like when you, when you said, when you said fire out, like fire is going to be returned. I, Dave gave the okay. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. So, uh, and I mean, uh, Francis just took him apart. It was just basically like, quit, quit your bitching. Like you're lucky to have a job. There's a reason why you still have a job that people know about and you know you can read comments and if you cast light there's a video, you can look at all the comments there. I'm not getting into that. But like part of the reason what part of the reason you like you're just not part of this shit anymore. Mm. Like you're you're not gonna go to Chicago, you're not gonna be at this, you're not gonna be invited to this, you stay in Michigan, you blog, you do videos and shut the fuck up. But when you open up your mouth, then it comes back tenfold. And Francis, you know, this is the Francis I like. I don't like the Francis who the Ryder Cup is crawling around when I yell at him. Yeah. Like, I like this Francis. So, Francis, was Francis punching down? Maybe a little bit. But it was it was returned fire. Like, fire was sent and he returned fire. I, I think Francis was both in his rights to post yeah. that blog. Absolutely. And, of course. And I might have been. I also don't think Francis took any really cheap shots. I feel like Castellani oh. in the next blog well, that took was, cheap shots. That was pathetic. That yeah. was troubling. He, uh... <laughs> yeah, um... And the sea of delusional fish, sir, uh, you, sir, are the sea beast least capable of self-reckoning. In my life, I've met a lot of people who refuse to face around music. But Chris, your steadfast unwillingness to acknowledge the incredibly obvious consequences of your own behavior. Uh, wrong pages in order? I don't even know. But yeah, that kind of stuff. It was uh, very well written. Frank and Francis spent, oh, yeah. Francis spent like spent a couple hours yeah, like, working sure, on it, yeah. really crafting it, yeah. and was thoughtful about it. In that, like he, your writing is dull, self absorbed drivel that spirals like some dying pheasant that can't tell the ground from the sky. It's not <laughs> what you think it is. Newsflash, Chris, we're all suicidal here. Kirk takes a month off every single year. Not true. It's not true. No. Can I can I sue the company for that? You, I, I'd have your. Back. No, I mean that's not that's just not true. I don't take a month off for. Sure. No, you have. You well, I guess I do for vacation if you count everything. I suppose maybe I do. It's been since, I think, 2021. The last it's one been was a while. the... Uh, 22? Soco show? No, after that, right? Well, he, he apologized <clears throat> for that after, right? Didn't he well, he had the to, show yeah. tweet? Well, we, yeah. well, we, we held yeah, this, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the show account actually tweeted something original as opposed to retweeting their own, you know, video or something I tweeted. Yeah. Uh, it takes a month out of every single year to have uh, orderly shackles wrist to a cot. That has not happened since 1992, by the way. 93. And yet he still finds a way to do his job furiously, ferociously, ferociously without feeling badly for himself. There you go. Uh, but he just kills him. And then Castellani's next blog is like calling for like, he hopes Francis' wife dies or whatever. Wife gets sick yeah. and, and his dog dies. Dog. Yeah, it's just, but it was it was written with anger. Like there oh, was yeah. no yeah. and like I don't really have anything against him. Like I don't really like him, but like it's just like we all know. Like, what? What do you? Like, what do you? Like, again, go look at comments. We all know. Just be happier with the company. If you're not happy with the company, leave. Well, in that or, blog, or be unhappy with the company and blog away. Do whatever you want. In that blogcast, Lonnie said he's a voice for the voiceless. Yeah, I saw that. 
I saw that. And he said that we should hire his producer full time. The company. Sure. Oh, yeah. Dave should definitely. But he also shit on his old producer, I guess, calling him just like a basically a homeless guy. Yeah. Then he apologized. It was a mess. Yeah. He's a mess. Yeah, like he's he, a, he was he's, off. He's was... obviously a, a, got some issues and he should probably figure those out. But like, you know why you weren't invited to that thing. Don't pretend everyone's and he knows and no one's really going to say it. So we can kind of weaponize that. And it's like, shut the fuck up or don't. But when you don't shut the fuck up, when somebody then tells you, you know, shits on you, deal with it. And his way of dealing was being a bitch. But I mean, right? I mean, no argument here. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I understand, you know, feeling left out sucks, but also like he wasn't the only one left out. Like Riggs writes three times as many blogs as anybody else. He's like right. the most prolific blogger sure. we have. He's a college basketball. Yeah, but he's yeah. A, no, yeah. Oh, I know the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's the co- he's a college basketball guy. He, got he, left what, out. he didn't do it. RA wasn't in it. Yeah, I mean, did, yeah. did those guys left out? I mean, there's not a lot, guys. but 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 a lot. Yeah, like, like Jerry Thornton. I don't think Jerry Thornton. Jerry Thornton. Yeah, Jerry Thornton blogs away. He's been the parcel since day one. Right, yeah, and never, like, never has to be included. Is grateful when he does, like you know. Uh, but yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> yeah, there's probably a you know, and some people are higher profile than other people. Like I'm not, I don't know, pay attention, but I'm going to be in that. Like you know, that's the way it is. Like I, who shouldn't be in it? Me, Clemmer, like Dan, like I, I don't really understand. I mean, his argument probably be like, well, the teams could have been bigger, maybe. Sure. But like I said, but a lot of bloggers who are kind of bloggers first, like, you know, Riggs is primarily only a blogger. They they didn't do they didn't get asked, and they don't write right. little bitch boy blogs right. about I, how, oh, I, why am I not included? Yeah, and then, but then to like, I, I when I heard he was then writing a response blog to, this is how it always works, as you know, this response, response, response. This happened with Tate and Kelly, and that happens all the time. So when he was responding to that, I was like, oh, maybe he'll be self-deprecating and like fall on the sword and be like, I'm an idiot. Or be like, hey, I did something stupid, but when I did it, I was really drunk. Which, you know, may be true. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, I have questions, but whatever. So when uh when you did that response and I read it, I was like, oh, this is not this is the this is the rock route to take. Yeah. It's humorless. <clears throat> Absolutely humorless. Mm-hmm. He was kind of like, like Justin the other day talking about the <laughs> little kids. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of like he's yeah, like yeah. he's like, hey, I'm like the cool like I won't say this while he's like saying it. Oh, yeah, like, the, the way he starts yeah. off like Jesus, mm. I haven't seen them. Yeah, them since that dead girl since something. that girl got murdered. Right, which again, like, like I've made jokes with Francis about that, but like I have too. There's ways to do that. Like he's, it just came across like he was really bitter and angry, and like I guess I'm, I understand that, but I don't. Know, I didn't like Francis' blog was great. His two blogs stunk, and then he did a video thing, which was. I don't know if you watched it. So I, I did watch it. it. Yeah. It was bizarre. And Very the, strange. In the comments, I think, had a consistent theme. Um, and he just kind of j- ignored them and talked to them. And it was just weird. I'm like, why are you doing this? This is not performative. It's not entertaining. So <clears throat> I don't know. I imagine we'll probably have him on, I guess, Friday. I don't know if Dave's going to have him on or not, or Ryan. Uh, but maybe we will. I don't know. What but are you that, texting? That's his only chance to make a comeback, right? If he goes on to the show and he's like self deprecating or something. I think we're past that point. Past it? Yeah. I don't think there's any coming back. So, I don't even come back from what? I don't even like where was he? I well, right, just dick, the way but, the way he's yeah. been acting, you know, maybe if he went on and it's like, who he is, I, you know, I don't. It's just like there are people the company shouldn't be there, you know. Probably it's not for everybody. Clemmer shouldn't be there, but like this is just it's where <laughs> we are. Wait, no, I should be there. It's just where we are. Were, no. You were gonna say something? Uh, when you got so you guys, I was kind of curious about this. When you guys are doing like a name show and you have that text group, as are news, you texting right now? Am I you were just doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing doing the mic. Yeah. So this X Y Z thing just took some air out of my uh, tires. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, like I really want to answer Clemmer's fucking James Lipton <laughs> questions about the unnamed show. I have questions. <laughs> Me too, idiots. It's a fun, no, no, this is a good question. Go ahead. It's a good question. Yeah, so, like, if the cast alliance stuff happens, are you like texting that group thinking, "Hey, should we have mine?" Or is that something you guys kind of do like the day? They kind of do it all week. They, I mean, you pretty much know who the names are going to be. Like, yeah. right, like this week potentially would be Castellani, uh, Francis, or whatever. Right. Uh, Will and Taylor. And then always Rico. <laughs> Rico could be doing something. <laughs> always Rico. Right. Or, you know, whoever. There's like five or six names. So you have an idea. I generally don't. Like, the, like the guest has to be good. Like, we had Dante on the other day. He stunk. And, but Dave wants segment. to keep talking. I'm like, fucking end it. I don't. Dave gets too caught up in that stuff sometimes. Where it's like, not everybody thinks this is interesting. Dante, to me, is not particularly interesting. He can be. I, I, don't I didn't why. find him good when he was on with you guys. Like, I didn't find that segment very good. Run it along with us. Yeah, I, I don't dis- I don't know him, but I'm just like I don't like this is not working for me. I, I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but it's not. You know, I like Dante a lot. I just he has brain damage though too. Like, so yeah, well, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't know if it's brain damage, but he, oh no, he has. I think he has brain damage. I like him though. But, but yeah. yeah, he wasn't talking. He wasn't even saying words to you guys. He no, he was, uh, he was in the car. I'm like, why? Are we, what are we fucking yeah. doing? So, uh, well, you guys aren't doing that Friday show anymore, huh? 
No. You, Nate Rich? Well, Dave didn't want it on the main channel, and then Nate... And Tomer he, only does the main channel. Yeah. No! Oh, <laughs> have you By the way, about? when you were in that hole, one show offered to host it. I know. One show to show that purposely tried to, you know, do a different challenge <laughs> yeah, at the same I, time, but right, still. Right. Yeah, I, Which is not true. I don't know if you heard those critics. I've had to hurt. I know that you, th- I know you buy that conspiracy all the way. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't care. Cause I was in, I, like when I got out, people were like, oh, this happened. You're like, all right. Like yeah, in, it, in the it, moment I would have been like, what the fuck? It also legitimately was number one on trend. It was, it fucking blew up because this idiot could not name Jim Tomei. I will Which say, was very funny when you did that. When, when you did it. In, four minutes. Because Tomei, if I said to you, if your life was on the line, put a gun to your head, top 10 home run hitters, like you get one shot, you can definitely get Tomei wrong. Oh, I got yeah. Well, I, mean, yeah, I, yeah, got, yeah. I got all 10. The, right. only, the only reason I got it wrong was I had the order between... I, I had to put it in order. Right. You know, right. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Um, I will say it, there's nothing that shocks people more than Coleman's lying. I know. What? Lying what about you, being a Yankee you, Mr. Fan. Ripley? How did you pull this what, off? What do you mean? Well, I know. Like, people yes, in the New York he office. He produced are, a Yankee podcast and gave opinions. Why have we not heard audio of this? Like, I want to I hear audio of it. I don't think it. there's that much of it. I, it wasn't like I was on every single You're episode. Tell me that it just disappeared, well, the audio of it? No, no, no. It's like Kennedy's brain at the, uh, at the, <laughs> at the fucking archives. Like, well, I don't understand. No, I just, I <clears throat> didn't talk that much. Yesterday, on. somebody called up well, and he he thought Alfonso Soriano was the guy from the Yeah. I mean, right. this is a truly stupid person. <laughs> like, I don't. There's not a week that goes by. Marty's like, Clemma, I, I don't, I just don't understand how Coleman fooled us. That's on them. He says yeah. it every week. Like Marty is Marty in shambles. Me. Marty loves me. He, he knows these me. guys. Hubs. Were you team Tommy? Marty or, during the whole thing? Um, not necessarily during the thing. Clemmo would have oh, turned his no Clemmo would have turned his back on him in New York. That's, no, no, no. But then you weren't there was for it. Well, I was, I was, I was doing this so show to the time. You were wearing the company. Back. Who who had his back? You did. Yeah. I but I ag- I agree. You've been, like, you been like you're right, Dan. I'll, I, want me to move his desk for you? <laughs> like no no problem. Marty's my guy. You're wrong. Be like oh, I, feel, I love. Marty. I feel like the desk is too close. I can still see him. Let's why don't we put him in the back there? Why don't we put him in the bathroom? Put him in that room. Coming to streaming. Yeah, yeah. Put him live there. No one should go in there. No, no. Stay away. We'd be going to the wedding. I don't know. I haven't invited. I don't think he sent out an invite shit. That's Coleman a hundred percent would not have taken. Let, let's not kid ourselves what? here. He would have. He would not have taken Marty's the side. Zero I, chance. I didn't zero say I did. Chance. I I was a PMT with the girls. Fan. With, I with, was I was a PMT fan. I uh-huh. was Team Hank, and then Marty you, was you, like, I, "You definitely tweet out, and you're now when somebody hacked yeah. it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely it. tweet out Team Hank. <laughs> that is the best. Definitely, probably. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Garen, that is the safest remember, bet but in the history of mankind. Someone hacked into his account. You did nothing. I was saying that was zero. I was, zero. I'm saying I was. And then Marty was the it's first like person that I Why would not you do? Like, you pretend, do pretend Russian stuff like Albright at least, or like Gus yesterday with the uh, the job stuff. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, that still blows my mind. You it did. still blows my mind. Would you? Would you bet? What are the odds he tweeted hashtag Team Hank? A thousand percent. Not thousand saying, percent, I but I think, I think he would have been more hashtag team Rhea. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Coleman's dream is to come dancing out of the bathroom <laughs> and that fucking, that stupid thing that they would be like. <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he would, <laughs> I would love it. He would leave, you would leave this show for that show. For chicks? Yeah. No. That's a yes. Yeah, no, no, definitely. There's definitely. no blame. I wouldn't. I, don't why, would, why would I want to do a chick show? Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Really. Well, yeah. That's a, that's a, <laughs> okay. But yeah, that, that, it was not a good day for Castellani. Like I said, I don't per- personally like him, but like, you know, uh, I wish him no ill will, but I would say for him, it'd probably be better if he worked somewhere else, mm. in my opinion. But you know. have you ever spoken to him? Yeah. I spoke to him when he was going through stuff a year and a half, oh, yeah, year, whenever the, that was. Yeah yeah. 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 I mean, like, you know, I'm, I'm always happy that if somebody reaches out. Um, you know, I just did it two days ago with somebody who's going through some mental health stuff. But uh, yeah, they said they were. Their father was disappointed in them. They had considered working, doing some Amazon stuff. <laughs> they were drunk. Screaming about cold. And I said, you should probably just, oh, you, I need should, to see the car. you should probably just keep driving. <laughs> just keep driving. <clears throat> but yeah, what else? Uh, the only thing I, I saw from that, that uh, castle, I, I watched the entire thing. Yeah. Was, do I like Clemmer? I like Clemmer quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Wow. That sounds like me being like, uh, nice guy. Nice guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was followed uh, I, by. I liked Castellani a lot. I, the Past last... tense. Yeah, well, the blog yesterday was... was oh. Did you like him 24 hours ago? Um, I tolerated him a lot more. I, I like... I don't know. Because I, I think... We probably, you mean the third blog that was in the The third series. blog, yeah. Because yeah, the first blog was... The like first blog was... Petty, was, but it was okay. It was also like the funniest thing he's ever written. I'm like, all right, good for yeah, you. Yeah, I haven't like, read much. But yeah, it was fine. Like, it was... It was an arm waving thing. I thought so too. But I'm like, all right, that's also content. Absolutely. It's a blog. That's fine. When he's like, oh, I hope Francis' wife gets sick. I'm like, all right, I think we're done here. I mean, I do have a death list. Yeah, you do. 
it's why, 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 why are you still talking to me then? Do you say, well, would Fran- you, would you, Francis would you, is my friend. Do you have any f- friends of mine on that death list? You've probably been on it. Oh, I've been on it a bunch of times. Carano. Yeah. Carano. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With you. I mean, but the, I the, mean, the, the, the disease that Carano has now is very, <laughs> very treatable though. So it's different. Yeah. I, I, you know, I used to get mad at, or get annoyed with Colony when he'd be like, "Oh, it's different with you." But it, it, in some there's weird, a, well, there is some like weird a, way it is. There's I guess a, there's a little tongue in cheek. That's it, the like, thing. Well, where it's I, not like he was just like he like that was just pure rage for no like. I, I like Francis. I'm not even defending. Him. I'm just like, why? <laughs> what are you doing? It's very weird. Yeah, yeah. I, I and I also didn't think I said I don't. I don't think Francis took any cheap shots. No, it was fine. On, on, in, in, when he's oh, it was fine against Chris. So I I don't know why Chris did that. I don't know. I. I it, I don't know. See from Gloucester's here today too, by the way. Cool. I'm also not <laughs> good. One, one last watching thing. you guys do your thing. I'm, I'm it's like almost, watching, not like watching. This isn't like the Rolling Stones. Yeah, no, 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 this is more not. like definitely not. When Mike's here, it's a band you know Stones. the Raspberries, you know so well. Don't let, let's not start with that. What? Again. <laughs> the other day, Steve's in here. He's like, uh, but I know who Eric, Eric Carmen is. Eric Carmen though. died. But I didn't know. I'm like, okay. the Raspberries. Well, I didn't know the that band he was in. Then I you said the fruit, that. like it was like a food he was eating or yeah, something. I just knew him from his solo, <laughs> from his solo act. Like Hungry Eyes. You right. Like. Yeah. You like yeah. the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. Absolutely. You had that soundtrack. No. no. You like the film. I love the film. You love the film. Yeah, it was good. good film. Oh, okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's your the, favorite part? With the vase. <laughs> were, they, were they making the clay? That's ghost, you idiot. <laughs> ghost. No, the one dirty dancer. Isn't that the one with the? No, that's, that's, you're exactly right. The girl with the the girl that was in uh, Ferris Bueller, wasn't she? Yeah, in Jennifer Grey. That's yeah. true. All right. Wasn't that the scene where they were doing the clay? That's Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. <laughs> what are you talking about? What dirty dancing. Talking about? That's Jennifer Grey's in that, ain't, ain't she? Shh. Isn't like, she? Yeah, isn't she? <laughs> ghost. You know the film Ghost. He doesn't. I don't Whoopi think he does. Goldberg was. Ghost. She won an Oscar for it. Yes. Uh, I have a Go- ooh, Whoopi Goldberg story. My, my darling, uh, Unchained Melody by Righteous Brothers. Yep. Became a big hit. That's Demi Moore and Patrick Squeeze. They're doing the clay. That's what it was. Which always felt That's weird to me, even as kids. Like, why the fuck are they doing this? I think it was parody the Naked Gun two and a half, I believe. It's like sense. It's a sensual scene, no? I mean, he's a ghost. No, he wasn't a ghost then. Yeah, he was. Oh, no, he, no, he, was oh, he wasn't. No, he no, wasn't. But then they don't made, see each other. T- neither right, one of you. Right. What she, the fuck? You know, Whoopi right. Goldberg owned a bar in Gloucester. I didn't know that. Captain Carlos, and she used to always be behind the bar. Mm-hmm. So you didn't serve her ice cream. No ice cream for her. No ice cream for her. Okay. Salma Hayek, yes, though. Salma, well, yes. Ca- well, candy, but she didn't buy any ice cream. But. You ever hit on her? Who, Salma Hayek? No. Oh, Whoopi Goldberg? No. Why? Ted Danson essentially left Cheers because of his relationship with Whoopi Goldberg. Like, that's why he didn't do another season. He just said yeah. that at the time. Because of her? Yeah. His relationship with her. That ended and, that's, Cheers. and that's not the craziest thing that. They did together either. That's true. That is true. That is true. He uh, aged, huh? Huh? Ted Danson. He what? Seeing him on Curb now, he really aged. He's fucking 70s. What do you want him to look like? I know. Sam but- Malone from 84? <laughs> he's four, it's 40 years ago. But I'm telling you, he like really- yeah, I think he looks pretty like, good. Me too. A- I hope I look he that good. He aged to me. Like Pacino looks aged. Like we were really? talking about- You think Ted Danson <laughs> now is like Al Pacino I, does? I think Ted Put Danson Put those two next to each other. Aged. He's, he's older, age. Steve. I get it, but the whole oh, he went all gray. He just you know, he, like Larry David obviously looks old, but I felt like like now you're seeing Ted dancing, you're like man, he got old. The he thing about Ted dancing was always the people always tell you that a wig. Oh, he did. So he just has a gray wig now. Maybe he got plugs. Remember uh, in the Cheers episode, he does yes, it with Carly. Yeah, that's it. true. That's true. What was so? Because you wouldn't have great and Becker, right? Was that his other big Cheers thing? and Becker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had the he's in my. Ted Danson is my top 10 all time. Not Mount Rushmore of TV people, but he's like on that third tier or something. That's fair. Just yeah. for, for Sam Malone. Well, Obviously, but the yeah. whole career the whole itself. Career. To me, to be on Mount Rushmore, you got to have, it, unless you're just crazy, you know, you got to have two shows probably. Mm-hmm. I was actually thinking of this this morning. I was having my English muffin. I was thinking, would Alan Alda, if he died today, and I don't want him to, would he be on my television Mount Rushmore? He would not. Would who? Because Alan Alda. Only you know who that is? I do not. Coleman, you know that is? I know the name. I'm, I'm not super. I do. I know the name, so, but I'm so just that not. So means, that means familiar. Gandolfini wouldn't be on your list because he only did The Sopranos. That's he would not point. be on my list. Really? You know what? So well, Michael Landon then would be in three shows. But I would. But to be fair, I'd put Johnny Carson on there. All right. I would put. I would. I guess I couldn't put Carol O'Connor on there. Why? Well, he had two we, shows. Nine, 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 that show went for a while. Yeah, years. that was a good. Yeah. I'd probably put Carson, Lauren Michaels. I mean, like, you got to put Julie Dreyfus on there probably at this point, no? 
Well, uh, she sure. definitely because of the beat? shows. I guess, yeah. I, mean, I mean, do you have her head of, like with steel ball though? Like, yes, I don't think that show's funny. You think it's funny when she's putting those fucking chocolates in her mouth? I are you laughing? Are you really laughing? I think it's like, <laughs> you're telling me you're flipping around. You watch. You no, no, you're no, a fucking no, liar. No, you're full of shit. Two different you're things. still full of shit. It's, All these years shit. later, you're just fucking full of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Clemmer's sitting there like, oh, he's like it, fucking laughing. It, it doesn't age as bad as my Mount Rushmore. Not not some guy would from you, the fifties. Would mine. you put Jerry Seinfeld on there then? I would. To be fair, I would probably put Jerry Seinfeld over Julia Dreyfus. I don't know if that's fair or not. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm spitballing here. I don't know. Uh, is David Chase should he be an over Gandolfini? Probably not. I heard he's going to do something. Yeah, horror movie. You, know, you can horror. do Cranston by your, your line. By your is watch. that Cleaver? Cranston could, yeah. Two shows. Yeah, but I, those, that, those bring meds on, on the level of those other shows, so I can't do it. Priestley, I would dead serious, I'd consider. Oh, I mean, well, 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 I would. How do you want me to say What's the other show with Priestley, though? That, 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 that doesn't 90 matter. 90 yeah, it's the best show ever, so it doesn't matter. So why wouldn't you put Gandolfini in there then? Because it's not as good as 90210. He's he, the 90210. That's what he does. Gandolfini had a gambling problem on the Sopranos that one episode, remember? Yeah. And they just wrote it off. It was dumb. That was a stupid episode. <laughs> Brandon's gambling well, series the, was the way better. Thing, yeah. Way better. Way better. That was so. That was such a dumb episode. All of a sudden he was broke. That was a, yeah. There were so many loose episodes once that we were like, what the fuck that is was this? The, like, that was like 6B, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when Hesh's wife died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that was, that was not a good. That was just a I think bad. it was trying to show the deterioration of like... Uh, Tony Soprano. I understood it, but like, but like they would get too. It was really rushed. Yeah, that felt yeah. really forced. Yeah. Well, <clears> anyway. thankfully he had Matt nine hundred two one zero who bailed him out, right? With all the football betting and and whatnot. Basketball. Basketball. Yeah, Duke was his uh, uh, bookie, played by Billy Vera, who sang at this moment. What would you think I would do? With number one hit. Family ties. Mm -hmm. Family ties. Al writing his letter to his yeah. wife. His wife. Yes. Now. Yeah. Still, still going strong. Book Michael J. Fox. Would you call him in studio, please? Sure, he's not busy. What else is going on? You had some notes, Steve. I did. All right, go ahead. You did. did I you do. Still? I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. Oh, what do you think about the Kurt Schilling thing? We, we still haven't solved if he knows what dirt, Dirty Dancing is. I know the. What's movie. the plot of Dirty Dancing? So Kurt Schilling came. No, no, no. What's the plot of Dirty Dancing? <laughs> I've seen it, Kirk. I like it. It's, you don't know. You <laughs> don't, what are you doing? The plot? What, do you mean, what am I doing? What's the plot of Dirty I, Dancing? Dancing. You have not seen this movie? You've never I've seen, seen it. I've seen it. It's my movie. mom's favorite, second favorite movie after the, the Sound of Music. It's been a while. Really? My mom would explain this better right now if we called her number. You probably would. Huh? She he? probably would. She probably she. would. <laughs> I'm rattled. I'm rattled. I'm rattled. Call my mom. 617-842-6117. If she answers, I, if she answers in, it has a been a while. It show, has been a while. I got to say, you're close to dancing. What else do you think? Like, What was the last one? In like the mud or something? Is that why it's dirty dancing? I guess. You don't, you're lying. Why are you lying? Kirk, I haven't seen you remember my, you remember my network? Time. Are you on, I are you, are you, on, letting, you know, are you in my exclusive I am. I am. Kirk Manning YouTube channel? Yes. Chat with my guys. I am. I give them a little pep talk every you once do. in a while. What's yes. You do. 617-842-6117. Kirk, it's been a long time. Probably over 20 years that I've seen them. Haven't seen it. I remember watching it. The number I you like dialed it, is but not I'm not. A working number. Call somebody random. Watch it Call yesterday. random number. We'll see if somebody can give us the plot of Dirty Dance. This is a. A film that I think is like actually. Chris, tell me what's it about. Do not tell him. It was jumped from generation to generation. Like people yeah. like Dirty Dancing. It's all, all the time. Patrick Swayze, Jennifer hey. Grey, the late Jerry Orbach. You know him from Law and Order. I never watched Law and Order. You would know him if you saw him. You never okay. watched Law and Order. No. It seems like a Steve show. I know. No. Uh, I, I never who else is it. in the film? You were talking about ER earlier. I never saw it. You, you've never heard of it. I. Do you yeah. know what the plot is of ER? Yes, it's about the hospital. And yeah, okay. you know. Let's see that. That's that's a better <laughs> plot than Dirty Dance. I'm trying to think if I know like another actor in Dirty Dance. I'm trying to think. So. I, I can't either. Cynthia Rhodes is the other dancer. Richard Marks' his wife at the time. He wrote right here waiting about her. Uh, she's the other dancer who gets knocked up. Okay. Is, is she still alive? Is he still alive? Richard Marks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You would know. You tell me if you die. This is what you do. You tell me when singers die. Calling Jay Pachi and Son in Saga. Well, well, why are we doing Jay this? Jay Pachi and Son. <laughs> why are we doing this? <laughs> they have good sandwiches. Call the callers, please stay on the line to be connected. I was there with Harry, not Harry, super, please. not super long ago, because I went, my car thing is in Linfield. Yeah. So we went there and had. Can you get the little kitchenette they have there? It's really a nice good. setup. I like it. Yeah. Expensive though. Yeah, it is. Pachi, uh, Michael speaking. How can I help you? Michael, hi. It's Kirk Minahan. You know who that is? No, I do not. Okay, so I host a podcast. Steve from Gloucester's here. He's a fan of yours. He claims yeah. to know about the movie Dirty Dancing, but doesn't know the plot. Could you tell Steve the plot of the film Dirty Dancing? 
I've uh, seen it a long time ago. I know it's uh, people that, that live in something like a, I don't know, like a small, like a little hotel yep. community type thing. And yep, yep. With, where the Patrick Swayze is a dancer and Jennifer, he's, uh, Jennifer Gray, yeah. Jennifer Gray is the other girl that her, her father's a doctor and yes. stuff like that. And I guess it's a very close knit thing, but dancing's not really uh the thing that's frowned upon too a little bit. Yes, yes. And he doesn't want, he doesn't want Patrick Swayze to be with his daughter. Yes. Yes, so you nailed this. Perfect. Stuff. Yes. How are you doing? doing all right? Great. This is why, I, by the way, I love, I love that. I love the little kit. You get, you get a little, you go in there, the Chris, you can kitchen that. You can have your little food. Cold yeah. cuts are fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. That was great. I'll do a rewatch. Four people will number be on one, the feed. Number one single from, from that song, from that, you know, Unchained Melody by yeah. the Righteous Brothers. One of the Righteous Brothers, Bill Medley, is the co-singer with Jennifer Warnes. They have a duet from that movie. Do you know it, Steve? Oh, no. Can you name that song in the house? You know it. Of course, obviously. I don't know if I do. Really? Chris, you definitely know. You, you would know if you heard I'm it. I'm terrible with the song titles. Give me the first five seconds of the song before the, you get to the... I think the, I think the title is the first line of the song. I believe so. Right. It is. We'll just name this tune. Name that tune. Yes, Remember correct. that? It's still on. It's back on with What's-Her-Face, the girl from 30 Rock. The one was on vacation. Oh, J... Jane Krakowski. Jane Krakowski or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I can name that to him in four syllables. No. Notes. Notes. This is from the film, huh? Yeah. I was looking for the actual, just, you could probably just get the song, but okay. The time oh, of my life. there you go. Literally. Yeah. You're I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear. Okay. Are we getting in trouble for this or no? Yeah. And he picks her up at the end of yes. the... Remember that? I remember that. I'll rewatch it. You've never watched this film. I have watched it. it in the nineties. I mean, what, what what are we talking about? You here? said you liked it. I, I liked what it. What say? I liked it. I can describe the plot entirely. I could be like, "What's his face at the Oscars?" Oh, it's so funny. I could do the entire fucking movie. Like, I, what, what do you want me to say? He picks her up at the end. I know. I will rewatch it. Can I please rewatch it? You will watch it. I. I will <laughs> you will watch it. I will rewatch it. How have you seen The Godfather? Never. I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting no, to wonder now. No, not once. I, I can't believe you haven't seen ER. I've never seen ER. Just by accident. The show's a monster. I never saw it. I'm going to guess. Seen one well, then again, you've never seen Friends, which, which I think is a lie. I've never seen an episode of Friends. I've I seen it's a lie. Yeah, so, Why? Because it's not impossible. Well, like, like, you're, like you're, you, you know pop culture. Chris, this other thing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't. I didn't there isn't actually watching Seinfeld anyway. You're already home. Was I, it for me? Yeah. Was it for me? But how do you know it's not for you? You never saw it. It's like Ally McBeal. Never watched it. I haven't either. Never. I believe you, Steve. You've never watched anything. Do you have a Nothing. television? <laughs> no. I watched the second season premiere of VR. Uh, probably had 40 million viewers. And Steve was just sitting there. Do you like Quentin Tarantino? Yes. He directed an episode of VR. The best episode of VR. Not the best episode of VR. Well, Love Labor is Lost. That's then. the one he did, right? With Bradley Whitford? Uh, did he direct that one? I thought he did. Oh, I didn't think he did. I thought he did the live one. Maybe. I, the one with Bradley Whitford is the best one. That Love of Labor is Lost with, is a fantastic with the, episode. Where the, the woman dies. Yes. Yes. Poor Poor Mark Green. The first, Tormented. The first episode of the second season had 37.5 million. Not Steve. Steve was trying to figure out how to put his VCR <laughs> copy of Dirty Dancing. <laughs> he couldn't figure it out. He went to bed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, every single Kirk, episode I was, of that season. Has around. I was in the HBO as a kid. Sure. Dream On. Yeah, sure. Tales Brian Ben Ben. Yeah. That was Dirty my Dancing season. was on HBO. I didn't. Well, what do you want me to do? So I, you never watched it. I was into like Shannon Tweed. In the, Shh, in the no, I understand you're a course, pussy you now, Steve. But, <laughs> right. like, but like you didn't watch. You know, just to you never saw. Just to you never will, saw it. I watched it once. Once that should be enough. Maybe twice. Have you seen Ghost? No. Really? Then how do you know how about the, the, the scene? Well, everyone knows that scene. That's a famous scene. That is a famous scene. But the fact I've been watching it from like beginning to end. Ghost. No. Well, that means you haven't seen it. Just bits and pieces. Bits and yeah. pieces. I mean, why don't you just watch it? I'll watch it. What's the last movie you watched? Your Lucky Day on Netflix just came out. What's that? I don't know that. Uh, guy, guy wins a lottery, uh -huh. goes in the convenience store, you know, checks his tickets. Turns out. Turns out he won, he won $165 million, and there was a guy behind him who robbed the store. At the, you know, so heard that he won, uh -huh. robs the store, shoots the guy, shoots the clerk, and then all these people get involved. It's like um, they held the this couple hostage in the convenience store. It was, it was a you know decent little watch. Angus Cloud stars in it. He's the, uh, the guy from Euphoria who died. 
Looks like my oh dog. yeah oh there you go just came out it was a new release on Netflix that was my okay. last what one. else on your list the Kurt Schilling came out in September of 2023 do you have the thing with Kurt Schilling they pay tribute to the Tim Wakefield Tim Wakefield, Wakefield. Yeah. Yep. and <laughs> if he should be allowed he should be allowed there because that girl from the Herald Gabby Starr yeah. is making this whole big deal yeah. saying that huge the whole city's talking about it she but, uh, I, I you know I, I get along with Schilling he should of course be invited they should invite the entire it's stupid. It looks bad they don't invite him. Like, invite him. He's not going to hmm. go. He's not going. Well, she was going? making this big deal that he shouldn't, but it isn't obviously more poli- political. Wakefield, uh, Wakefield, Jesus. Schilling does a lot of dumb things. Mm-hmm. That was one of them. But I actually do think he was doing that with good intentions. Mm, he does right. other things not, not so good. I think he actually legitimately like liked Wakefield. When you hear the clip, the he wasn't prayer. being yeah, I jerk be, about it. No, it, it was stupid. He should not yeah. have done it. That's not his place to do that. But, like, I don't think in, like... But I don't think he's going to go anyway. He's not going to go. But to not specifically not invite him makes the Red Sox look petty. They should play play bigger and invite Schilling. Why not? I, I say let Wakefield's kids decide. I would I would hmm? side with that. You gotta well, let, the, let the family decide. Yeah, he has adult children that you know the week, so let them decide if they want to have him there. Or not. But it's an 04 reunion, right? That's what that's what it's billed as an 04 yeah. reunion. Oh, then you have to. Him. I thought it was a Tim Wakefield. No, thing. it's the no, same night though, right? They're celebrating the 04 team, Chris. Yeah, then you have then you have to have Schilling there. Or at yeah, least invite him. You yeah, have to like, at least invite him. I actually think they're going to retire Wakefield's number that night, too. I'd be good with that. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of... Like, he's not... A, wasn't a great pitcher, but for, like, them, he's... But that's why you retire numbers yeah. like right. that. Like, he means <clears throat> yeah. off the franchise. Correct, yeah. And some of the people don't go anyway. I mean, you never get a full team there. I mean, they're... No, it's also a lot of magic with that 04. Like, those guys are all very prevalent anyway. There's no, like, holy shit, I haven't seen this guy in 20 years moment. Like, you see... No, Kevin Millar's on TV all the time. No, Ortiz Pedro, Ortiz. Dustin Pedroia. I mean, they're always Pedro, yeah. around, yeah. Oh, Pedroia, not on the 04 team. Not on 04? No. I'm having a bad day. <sighs> Steve, you, you thought Dustin Pedroia's on the 04 team? Why? What's the matter with you? We're in 24. What? 04? What? I don't know. What he the was, hell? What? Why, he he was had a stroke? Not, no, he wasn't on the 04 team. He was not. Definitely not. Oh, so he was on 07? He was on the 07. 07. Team. Yep. So who was 04? Mark Bellhorn? That's you got right. it. There we go. Okay. The year before and Todd and Walker. Pokey Reese. Yeah. And Pokey Reese. Okay. And Todd Walker, that's right. Um, he was a nice guy. Is he? Um, no, I met him once. Very nice guy. Um, what was I going to say about that? 04. Will, will Nomar be invited to that? <laughs> well, he was there for what, half a year and then he, he was on yeah. the team. Does he yeah. have a ring? Uh, yeah, I think you get a ring. But I, I don't think, I think you, you wouldn't invite him. You wouldn't invite like him. Bledsoe has a ring for the old. But he played, you, he you played, played the, the FC Tyler game. He's on like the roster for the Super Bowl. Right. He's, yeah. If you watch episode one of the, um, of the, whatchamacallit. It's the I greatest quarterback that. of all time, Bledsoe. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I didn't, I mean, I liked, I'm a Bledsoe guy. He was on Enough About Me once. But like, you know, they built him up like he was like the best quarterback in the league. He was not. No. He was good. He was a good, solid, like up. And he was kind of like a rising star. Even by that point, though, remember he just come off a five win season. Yeah, there was not. And like, yeah, and they were zero and two. They were yeah. five and thirteen. Like there was not. This city was heavily. Uh, I was wrong. I wanted Bledsoe to come back because I like Bledsoe, but this city was like ninety ten Brady. At oh point. yeah, oh yeah. They built out yeah. like it was this war like Brady Bled. No, 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 no. Who was, it was Borges? Sure was, really, it was the one. Yeah, I'm sure it was carrying the radio talk. Yeah, Dale, mm. uh, Glenn. Oh, Dale was definitely Bledsoe. Yeah. Uh, John, I remember John. I remember listening to John and Jerry. Jerry loved Brady correctly, and uh, John was all about uh, Bledsoe. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, no more did get a ring. He did. He a ring, so I, don't, I don't know if he gets invited though. I would. Brady I was on that first Super Bowl team, Steve. He was. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And what? Um, yep. Just, just, just it, Harrison and McCordy came out saying that they basically got thrown under the bus. Yep. For that my role. my response to them would be like, "Tough poopies." Like you agree to do the interview. Like mm-hmm. once you agree to do an interview with somebody, like they can do whatever they want with the sound. Like it's a pro craft. It's tough. I like the crafts. I always say this, but this is, did you watch it? I have not. It's, it's a tough watch. Like you would think, you would think Belichick was mentally disabled. Well, I hate almost, Belichick. Or the so most I, evil I person. Okay. But you acknowledge he's a great coach. But do you hate him? Uh, do you hate him? I mean, I know it's a what bit. You, I know it's, it's a not bit. A bit. You it's not a bit. I mean, acknowledge like, it. do you hate him he as a person a, or because you're a Jets fan? Uh, I guess a little both, but, but I mean. I mean, he's the greatest coach in football history. I mean, like. I know. mean, I, I. Who would it be then, Chris, if it wasn't him? I mean. John Shula had had a much better resume without his best quarterback. Well, Shula was last like, last like 25 years. Belichick without Brady is dog shit. Okay, with him he won six he Super did. Bowls. He did. He went to nine. Yes. You know. He won two as a 
as a coordinator. Leader. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, he was very involved with mm-hmm. you, that first that Bills Super Bowl. I would say he was very involved. He was with. the MVP of that game. Yes, he was. He was. I'm a Bel- I'm a, such a Belichick guy now. I I can't even stand how much <laughs> I'm a bad. I had a side. I was back all year, but now I'm really a Belichick guy. Hey, by the way, that first Rams Super Bowl. You think Brady won that game? No, that was the defense. Brady didn't do shit. Defense was the defense, last. The last the game against the Rams. Brady didn't do, against, they do oh, shit. Oh no, no, right. The last one. No. I, but the first Malcolm was, Butler pick not calling a timeout. And then a Pete Carroll, that's Belichick. Mm-hmm. They, 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 the do your job thing showed you exactly that. Oh, yeah. On the flip side, the last four years, that's Belichick. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have a good quarterback. I'm surprised you're not siding more of the crafts on this. Because that was a, I don't like hit pieces like that. I've been the subject of some of them. That was a total, and it was unnecessary. Uh, like they could have just said, they could have held up, they should have dragged uh, Bill to that press conference. I call him Bill, no friends. Uh, that was embarrassing. But, People understood, like to your point, totally understand. The last four years were bad. Um, Cam Newton's season was stupid. Mac Jones was a miss. It's just not working out. You're the best coach ever. We love you. We'll do a night for you. Goodbye. And everybody would be fine with that. But they they can't let that. For some reason, Kraft thinks he deserves credit. He deserves no credit for this. None. Coach, player, front office. This idea of owner stability. They had fucking Tom Brady. Yeah. Like, any owners would win Super Bowls. And he made the decision to keep Belichick. Like, he could have said... Who did? Kraft. Kraft. He could have put his foot down and said... To keep him? It was like Belichick or Brady, you know, like... Yeah, it was a no-brainer. I I turned out to be wrong, but I I was like, I would take the brain of Belichick over... Like, this idea that people are like, Kraft's like, Bill wanted to get rid of Tom when he was 38. No shit. Like, who wouldn't? It turned out that Brady was happened to be, you know, he's a rare breed. But yeah, I'm with Belichick. And that documentary is not even, it's, it's revolting. It's revolting. Revolting. It is. Way worse. Worse than Rat Race. Almost. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so, how, you're so full of that's shit. How bad, that's how bad you're, it was. You, you liked Rat Race. Which is you, fixed. That you game liked is it. fixed. There's, that, that's, Rat Race is fixed? Yeah, no. It's totally fixed. No, well, how did he fix? Marty Marshall, man. <laughs> Are you taking away their phones for the next one? Yes. Hey, you got to do that, right? Yeah. Was there any, like, new, any new people in it? Yeah, a bunch. Who we got? Got a... Uh, Kevin and fights. Uh, that's fifty percent good. <laughs> G and Grace. Oh wow, G. Who's Grace? O'Malley. Grace O'Malley. Oh, okay. yeah, I fucking fucked up last night. You know that thing. Yeah. Uh, the three Stooges are back. The one, the team that won last time. Oh, good. Uh, Frank and Smitty. I like that team. Uh, and I'm not. I was not asked to be part of this. Francis and Keys. Okay, not asked. Do you want to do don't this? Ask, don't, <laughs> don't ask me. Don't ask me to talk. Guess what? Don't guess guess who's getting an invite for the next one? <laughs> don't make me say no to that. Yeah, now, yeah, now yeah. you got to say no. You want to do it here? I'll do it. I do want to do one in Boston. I'll do that. Yeah. I'm happy to that's do what that. I was, that's what I was hoping. <clears throat> sure. I hate Manhattan. You know that. I know. And we've said this last time we heard. It's the worst spot in the city. Oh, where the office is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's no food. Horrible. There's nothing. It's, it's hard. It's a pit. You walk out like when we're done streaming and it's just like just people... In like drug drug induced yeah. coma, yeah, just like uh, everywhere. Everywhere. stuck to them. They're passed it's, out. It's at, at night. It's really bad. <laughs> so is it like Mass and Cass, like that area? Like yeah, not quite as like grouped, but like yeah, but bad. There's like three or four on just the city block that the office is on, like every night. Yeah, not good. Uh, not good, Steve. What else on the list of yours? Uh, let me see. Are we are we still on the bonus salad thing? Like, do we want to know who he is? No, I don't care. Okay, good. Because yes. he reached out the other day wanting to go Same. on. Same. Yeah. I, yeah. I, once he did the uh, uh, thing with Castellani, that whole thing, yeah. mm-hmm. I was good. Okay. That was on a moment where I was like, I, I was really down on Castellani. But go ahead. Did you watch any of the uh, Beyond Average from last night? I have not yet. I was going to listen to it. I had some driving the other day. Was it good? It was, it was okay. He does the Chris Russo thing now in the beginning of his show. Like the boom and, thing, and you know, like does like, it all the time. He's been doing that. Doesn't that wasn't that like? Didn't he take that from the Mad Dog though? Probably, but he's been doing that for. You just yeah. started listening. What's going on with you? Nothing. What's up with you? <laughs> Everything's good. It's just like this is when you get good. sensitive, you're like, like you get off Twitter now. Just relax. I'm fine. No, I can tell when you get sensitive. You're getting sensitive. What? The dirty dancing. Yes, I'm fine. You're like a little bit like Castellani. Like you got it. Like it's funny that you know, the dirty I dancing. It. I get it. Like, why not laugh about it? I am I'm laughing I know, now. But you know what I'm saying, Chris, though? He seems, like, defensive about it. I'm not defensive. He's definitely was rattled since Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Yeah, he, you rattled me on that, though. What? But you didn't see it. I've seen it. It's been a while, but I'll, re- I'll re-watch it. I'll, I'll do okay. it. It's just weird, because you said you liked it, like, unprompted. Right. Yeah. I could have stressed the truth on that one a little bit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's one of the most famous here. plots in movie history. 
I get, I get, I mean, the guy Apache sort of knew it. I think I, I think I could fuse with Footloose a little bit. The Maybe dancing, bit. but he's like, right. Like the dad, but the dad, the dad was frowning on that kind of dancing, though. Right, right. That's true. That's true. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I've heard that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would have heard it when you saw the movie. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of detective determined that was Dude, a lie. Are you? Are you uh, That's definitely a lie. Can I move on to my next? Sure, go ahead, Steve. Are you buying Scotty Scheffler to win a major this year? Are you in on him or? I don't know. Boy, Steve, he's struggling. I'm not sure. Hmm. Am I well, buying no. Scotty Scheffler to well, play no, well? Only because, major? like, you know, he had that great round on Sunday. But do you think. Can I ask you a the Lambs question? Have you guys seen the film? Yes, I have. Have you seen the film? No. I haven't. What do you want me to do? How have you not seen that movie? I've not seen it. You're our age. I have not seen it. What do you want me to do? I'm going to lie to you and say Did you have I, friends in high school? It. Yes. You didn't go to the movies your friends? Yes, but you I... You definitely I, did not. But no, I, no, I, I think he's too young for that. I, I, didn't, the the I was a Silence of the Lambs my great friend Jim Russo. Opening night in the old Dedham Legacy Place. Yeah. Before it, was, before it was Legacy Place. Oh, where there okay. was the, uh, show, the showcase. Yep. That parking lot is just... Legacy place now. It's an enormous parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Went to Pizza Ruin that before. Seven forty showing. I didn't remember that. No, really? You remember oh, the time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to keep a little notebook. All right. Uh, we, had <laughs> those be- too. we had those before. Shut up, Coleman. Uh, I had nachos before before the show. I remember that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Great movie. But in the movie, so Miggs, remember Miggs jerks off and throws his cum on Jody Foster. Uh, Harry and I watched this movie together the other night. <laughs> yeah. Throw, um, why does Scott Glenn call Jodie Foster and tell her that Miggs is dead? <laughs> like, this is really unnecessary. <laughs> I never really understood it's that true, scene. Like, yeah. well, like well, Miggs is dead. Uh, okay. Uh, Can I go back to work? And then <laughs> and I kind of tease. I hadn't seen the film in like 15 years, 10 years. It's great. You should see it. It holds up really well. Too. It really does. Uh, I think t- in today's world, it probably would not pass the I don't, transgender sniff. I don't think it's, it, I think it deals with it more sensitively than you might think for a movie. Uh, out there would definitely be like, this is portraying these people. Yeah, as, like a freakish. As, well, there was some of that. Going at the time. Even when it came out, yeah. there was some of that. But I think it Just does. why Demi's next film he purposely said was. Uh, was Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to deal with that in a way. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, anyway, I was just wondering that. But go ahead. What were you saying, Steve? Speaking of Jody Foster, are you getting, what's his name? On the uh, who was the guy from last week? The uh, Mark David Chapman. Oh, John Hinckley. You, John Hinckley. Don, John Hinckley. You good him segues. On? Good segues. Steve. Are you, I getting, expect, are you uh, getting him on? <laughs> Any updates on John Hinckley? Has, I've reached out once again. No, no response. All right. Maybe he'll be part of Barstool Idol. Maybe we'll try out <laughs> a couple of years. Who knows? That'd be interesting. <laughs> that would be. Man served his time. I don't know. What, what else did you have, Steve? It's something else. Steve, would you reenact Goodbye Horses for like a video? What is it? What's the song? Day? Yeah, they're like dancing. Goodbye Horses. What? Yeah, when he's dancing. That's the song, isn't it? When who's dancing? Oh, oh, it sounds yeah. lamps. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Steve will do I think that. that'd be great. Uh, once I see it, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know it's a good scene. No, no, really, about Scheffler, though. Do you think? Oh, I'm sorry. You're really. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a big question. I have to know this. But so I think he's in one of the majors, the fucking best player in the world. Pro- maybe. Yeah, but he, well, like Brooks and Rom. Like, do you think, like, once he gets in that. He won the Masters two years ago. I'm just asking you, this year now, now he's got the beard now, like, do you think, it's like... the beard, he's won two <laughs> weeks in a row! <laughs> what does a beard have to do with anything? He just looks different now. Like, Steve, he, he's won the last two weeks. I'm he had the beard saying, both weeks. I'm asking you, if and you, I, if I, you I, the bet, I, But you do this, you, you, the bet, you do, do you this, then you brought the beard thing, and now I'm saying he had the beard the last he, two he, weeks, I'm A I'm betting refuting. man, a golf man, would you bet on him to win at least one major, if not maybe two majors this year? Where would you put him in that? The odds I heard were actually like for him to win one major this year are just plus 100. Would I personally individually bet that? I would not. Yeah, because I know you don't really like him. That's why. <laughs> not that I don't like him, but. You find him boring? or I find him, but, but like if I can make money off that. But plus 100 for a golfer to win a major is a long, tough bet. Mm-hmm. Like Tiger Woods has won 15 majors. He's played in, I don't even know how many at this point. 90? 80? Four Probably. times. I mean, he started yeah, 90. Yeah. He played like three or four before he was a pro. The first Masters, 97. That's whatever. So he's probably be, uh, how many majors has he played in? 70, 78. I don't know. Is he going to play? He this hasn't year? won. So that means he hasn't won 60 of them. So like, is, he's he, the 90, is he playing this? What's year? that? 90. He's played 90 majors. Yes, as of February 16th, 2020. Yeah, he's going to play the Masters. I guess he the is. better question would be how many years did Tiger wins win a major? How many years did he not? Would be probably the in his prime, way. he won right. all the time. I mean, look, he won in 97, right? The Masters. He didn't win another major until the 99 PGA. So that was like 10 majors in a row. Mm-hmm. That's Tiger Woods. Yeah. Then he won five in a row or four in a row. But, <clears throat> but I would not. But 
If you said to me I could only pick one player to win the major this year, it would be Scheffler. But I wouldn't pick him to win one. Not Brooks? No. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Okay. I don't like the live guys because I don't know how they're playing. I don't quite know how they're playing. Well, I know, but he's usually always really Terrific. good in the yes. majors. That's why yes. I asked. I don't yeah. know, I'm just thinking if I had some money to put down, you know, getting the golf expert. Well, you I'm know. telling you, I would not bet him plus 100 to win the Masters. Or, or to, what, what are the Masters odds right now on DraftKings? Clemmer should know. He's a big gambler. He's host <laughs> fucking... Pick Central. Pick Central. Of course. of course, I've been focused on baseball. Rico Bosco. Rico Bosco, Marty, Ev. Marty. Smitty. Big Ev, so. Smitty. Smitty there every day. Comes in. Uh, comes in with whenever, okay. whenever he comes uh, in, we're happy to help. We got... Uh, Much just texting me. Is Steve okay? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? Everything's good. Okay, I'm worried about you. Uh-oh. I'm just... I don't want you to have a stroke. I'm not having a stroke. Everything's good. Okay. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, plus 450. Yeah. Big drop off, then Rory at uh, plus a thousand. I don't hate Rory this year. I mean, a million birdies this week. Aren't you an anti Rory guy? Yeah, to win, I'm not. I'm not saying I root for him to win. But I'm saying I don't hate him to win this year. Uh, You'll hear this all. We're Riggs and I are doing the majors this year. Mm. Doing the majors this year. Uh, John the Masters. John Rom is plus eleven hundred. John Rom is plus eleven hundred. Jordan Spieth is plus what? Eight. Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth, yeah. Plus, I think I said Spieth. He did. Uh, plus 1,800. That's a no. He stinks right now. Will Zalatoris. Yep. He's that high? He's is, playing well. What's Hideke at? Hideke. Is that his first? Oh, plus Hideke. Plus 2,500. That is good money. He's playing well. Mm. And has a Masters already. Morikawa right below him. <laughs> stinks. Is that just doing yeah, the Masters or just good. doing a major? What are you shrugging this, at, this, Colin? Yeah, you know more than me about this? Morikawa. Oh, no. no. I'd fuck you shrugging at. But you said he won a Masters. Didn't Morikawa also win a Masters? No, he did not. As usual, you're wrong. <laughs> oh. I thought he did. I don't think he's that good. Who? Morikawa. He's good. He won, a, he won a PGA and he won an Open Championship. <laughs> oh, he's <st> waiting <laughs> on him. <laughs> what are you two doing? Oh, we, I was looking at the odds. We're, Shut up. All right. I like what Corey else? Connors. <laughs> Corey Connors is a great pick. Great okay, pick. Thousand, that's my pick. You like the Yankees' you chances that. this year, Coleman? That was after. Uh, depends on. Who was your guy Paul. you had there from France who missed the cut? Oh, uh, Arjan Paul. That was a good bet. Almost. Oh, no, it wasn't. It I was love Corey. I'll go with you on Corey Connors. Who's Mutt's guy? Tom Hoagie. Does he always say the yeah, same guy every week? week. <laughs> with the mud juice on. Yo, how many games are the Yankees going to win? What's the over-under, Chris? Uh, I don't know. With this. I haven't looked since the Cole injury. Um, it, w w probably like an 88, 90 now. 88.5. You're going over-under, Coleman. Might be higher. Over. Now. Over? Yeah. How many games are they going to win? Uh, say like 92. How many games do they lose then if they win 92? Uh, this quick math. Um, I don't know, like 30? Yep. 30. Yep. They, they the, old, the old 122 <laughs> games fucking up. Yeah, I just walked I, in. I, I don't know the exact number. fucking unbelievable. That's fucking unbelievable. I don't know the exact number. fucking unbelievable. I don't know the exact number of games. You think they play 122 games in a major league Cole, season? Cole, are you fucking retarded? It's a long season. He's You're right. It is a long season. <laughs> 122 or 132 as opposed to 162. I mean, why are you giving the answer away? Oh, shit. Idiot. What, um, do you know any, who do you know on the Yankees right now, Coleman? Like, can you name like yeah. five players? Yeah. Judge, Soto, Stanton, Cole, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dominguez. Verdugo. Verdugo's there now. Dominguez um, and Cole both hurt. So. They're on the team, though. I, I mean, guess. they're on the um, Do you know who's starting opening day? That's a good question. Judge. No, no, no. The pitcher. pitcher. Oh, pitcher. Um, Coleman, you know, not, it's wild. The Soriano thing was mind blowing yesterday. I actually think Coleman. Coleman always claims there's no winning in the past, but present day Coleman thinking of baseball season is 132 games. It's crazy. It's wild. It's nuts. It's insane. 122 games. Sorry, it's right? insane. Yeah, 192 yeah. and 30. If the Yankees were 92 and 30, they'd be fucking incredible. They'd be the greatest that, team of all. That's, yeah. that's a better pace than the 98 Yankees. Hell yeah. yeah I'll say, what do they, what do they win, Chris? One, 114 and 48. 114, yeah. 125 and the 50. 125 and oh. yeah, with the postseason. That. Uh, do you understand? It's a lot of off days. Yeah. You know, gotta rest up. <laughs> Take the week off in May. When you get injured in the spring, you know. Oh, his mind must have been blown there. He thought Joe Torre was the manager. Like, who is this guy walking out there? He must have been yeah. baffled by that. But did, yeah, he, he didn't know Joe Torre. No. He didn't know him. Did you see that clip the other day? I yeah. did, yeah. Did you know who that was? I saw it from, like, the one I saw had his name in the... How, how have you never heard of Joe Torre? That is weird. That man. is yeah. crazy. I, I 
be like, weirder heard if you knew the this name point. before in passing, but like I don't really care that much. Like, like I, I have trouble with numbers too. Honestly, like I, I know judges number. I, you could ask me like what's Lindor's number. I don't know. I have a really hard time mem- remembering players' numbers. How do you not know Joe Torre? Like he's one of the most famous Yankees in the like, ever. Yeah, I mean it's just like clips, just like random. But like he was a manager when he was alive. Well, because Coleman yeah. didn't didn't you mention? I mean, he was young, but yeah, he was alive. It's like, but, but, but me not knowing who Red Auerbach is or whatever, it's just dumb. Yeah, but I'm I'm a Knicks fan. <sighs> yeah, but still, you would know. <laughs> that, mean, does, that has nothing to I do, do with it, though. I care the most about Coleman. That. You're so yeah, but, fucking dumb. <laughs> I care. The correlation is you're them. a Yankee fan. Me, I'm a Celtics fan. Growing up with Red Auerbach, does that mean you being a Knicks fan when I'm a kid? Do like you understand that? Kirk, I, that's like you saying you didn't know who Casey Jones was. Well, no, because I was older when he was coaching the team. I was a, in my formative years as a mm-hmm. fan. But it would be me, like, me not knowing where Red Auerbach is. Yeah. And I know Reb is around. But still, like, that's... Do you remember the 2009 championship season, Coleman? For the Yankees? Uh, like, I remember like, watching... Kind of, but like... It's so true. I, I know it's the true. name. Like, I, like, it's I, true. I like, remember like, watching like, some I, of it. How old were you in nine. 2009? You were in the nine, so the peak age for a, I, a, a kid to like watch baseball. But, he but no, I started he didn't watching. Know who Posada was? No, I started watching. I know Jorge Posada. What do you? What, no, we asked you. Said no at the time. Don't lie. No. Who's a core four? Um, uh, Jeter, uh, A Rod. Oh. Or wait, no, Jeter, Mariano Rivera, R- bleh, Mariano. Number ninety-nine. Um. Was, oh, uh, um, hang on, hang on. Why, why are you making me do this? Why? I don't, <laughs> want, to hang on, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm I'm get, I'm, just give it to him. No, no, no. We're going to be here all night. Huh? What if you gave him the position? Yeah. No. Okay. Stop, stop, stop giving I, him answers. I got a train to I'm catch, just, Coleman. So do I, by the way. I'm this waking on this I'll one name. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. You'll be, you'll be delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> just do the next one, please. I got to get home. <laughs> I'm blanking on his name right now, but you'll I can, do a sad I'm, blog I post about it, though. I can picture I would. Him. Yeah, that'll be. Do not do that. No, I, no, no. That's in order. I've helped you in your can't. career. I I've can't. Helped, I've helped you in your career. Wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, absolutely. Fairly influential. You having a job at Barstool? Not very. When I die, you are not allowed to even speak about it. Wow. No, 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 he's got to. Nothing. They're gonna think I'm an asshole. Fine. Good. Exactly. No. Exactly. No. He can't. Not exactly. even one tweet. No. Nothing. I if I. If there's a heaven or a hell, I do not want to see Clemmer's tweet where it's like, <laughs> yeah, we, you know, he he gave me, but like, you know, I'll with, make sure. Yeah, yeah, without Kirk, like I would, I, I do, why, no. why would, why can't I do that? I'm why? telling you, no. But that he, I'm asked much. He can't go. You do ask a lot. I do not. You yell at me all the time. You don't ask for anything. <laughs> he can't go on Mike and the Minute fans. Like, no, come on. he would go on. I say he's on Mike and fans. They, they kicked him off. <laughs> yeah, they threw yeah. me off. That's where he got his career started. No, no like, no. Okay, oh, that's not fair. That's no. not nice. Because I want to do that. No. I've seen this look in Coleman's eyes before. Oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> oh yeah. I, one's, a, one's a starting pitcher. Coleman. I know. I pick, I'm picturing. Left you give him position. I, 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 I want to. Give, he's he's left-handed. Him. I'm picturing him. He did big, steroids. Big. Did he really? He did. He did. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Pitched but, for the Astros. Then went yeah, back. He, in has the a, oh. he has a dimpled chin. He knows. would do this in the postseason. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I would get intimidated. I'd be like, shit, this guy's here to pitch tonight. Not a Hall of Famer in my opinion, but right. Well, he uh, the steroids and ke- keeps it out for me. I'm, I'm I an anti-steroid guy. To me, I've always said you, they got everything else. You don't me too. Everything. I agree yeah, with you. Yeah. He's well because he he's homegrown. He's he's. Uh, Nick, what, 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 what the fuck, Chris? What did he have for wins? Chris, well, you might as well tell me how many pubic hairs he has. I think that's going to matter, huh? Over two hundred. Over two hundred. Yes. I'd say two thirty. I might take the under on that. Yeah, I think probably two twenty. He had a few injuries here and there too. He was pretty dirty. He went from Yankees to Astros to Yankees. I think that was it, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's it. Oh, I'm, I actually might be thinking of the wrong person. Then. All right, here we go. And he's a spring, he's a spring training coach, too. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, yeah I'm down there, so. Mm-hmm. 256. Yeah. Oh, 56 no. 256? <laughs> wow, I would not have guessed that. I, would, I, was, I was around 225. Man, if he, if he, I, didn't, if he didn't do been. steroids, I easily would have put him in. Might not have 256 wins, though. That's a lot now. I'm saying he might, if he didn't do steroids. Oh, you might. wouldn't have that many? He probably wouldn't have the success with Houston? Well, Coleman, can you? He, yeah. He cl- so he claims that uh, just once he says, right? Yeah, and I kind of believe him. There's no big strikeout spike. He came out in front of it too. I mean, but after he got caught, but like once well, it happened, he didn't hide from it. Like ZRA plus is one seventeen. Yeah. Do, you, do you have the years broken has, down? I'm on Baseball Reference right now. Yeah, how many? Nine, how many twenty plus wins to, years did he have? It was don't a, get caught up in that. Oh, but I I'm will just do curiosity. Two twenty one seasons, nineteen. I mean, like that's actually pretty good for that that era. 
Yeah, but doesn't he have the was... most postseason wins ever? <laughs> <laughs> or he did? He probably. He, it wouldn't surprise me. But like, I'm not going to give Andy Pettit credit that he won. <laughs> Uh, doesn't matter at this point. Sixteen <laughs> games with the '98 Yankees. Like, no. congratulations. Mm. Any no, other right. Well, I, have you heard of Andy Pettit? Yes. I we have. done with the core four? We're not. No, no one more. One more. Position. Good. Go ahead. I'm trying to think who already said. I said Jeter, uh, Pettit, Pettit, and oh, I didn't say him. But and then Mariano Rivera. Uh. Well, he kind of already said it though. Yeah. He said it earlier. He did? started That's the conversation. Started oh. But he won't get it. <laughs> but that's not fair. I feel like he already kind of said it. No, he he claimed to know this name. Or said, yeah, no. there you go. Yeah. Okay. Who's the center fielder on, on that's a lot right. of those? Who's the thinking of? Yeah, who's, yeah. who's the Pete Best of this? <clears throat> yeah, plays a guitar. I don't know. Actually, plays the guitar. Who he won four World Series. Almost signed with the almost signed with the Yankees. Uh, with the Red Sox. With the Red Sox. Right? Yeah. Very close. It was a good this John, was a great player. Good John Sterling. This is a guy that I think you can make a Hall of Fame case Definitely. for. Yeah. I think Kevin Posada, too, honestly. Uh, I right. don't. Bernie Williams. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, to be honest, I thought he was older than that. When do you think he played? In the 30s? No, I thought he was like... difficult for I, Bernie Williams to play in the 20s and I thought 30s. he was That'd like quite nine. a story. <laughs> I thought he was 90s for some reason. He, he was! was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't think it was that recent. So the Jeter. When do you think Jeter yeah, started? That's true. That's true. When do you think Jeter's when rookie the whole core four started? The whole thing was two, maybe. No, but I mean, it's, you know, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Kirk Manning Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, you go to BetterHelp.com slash guy. You any any uh, therapy for you? I've used therapy a lot in my life. Recently or no? Not you not. Be, so you don't have to be so serious. Take it easy. You got very serious in that sense. <laughs> I was thinking it's a serious question. You're a happy guy though. You texted me the other day. You're you're happier than I am. I forget, oh. I forget the context. Yeah. Uh, oh, you sent me that stupid thing, which I've seen. Like, whatever. How is that stupid? You're, I'll send you things a, like that once in a while. Asshole. You're not grateful at all. You're, I'm always grateful. You're not grateful. You're an asshole. <laughs> but I've already wow. seen it. I see everything. Here it is. But I'm being, I'm being nice. I'm like, hey, check this out. I think you'd enjoy this. How did I know you'd seen that? You should know I've, I've seen that. How, how would I know that? So you sent me this, like, basically like a grid for movies. Right. I've seen it. Yeah, and, we're aware, and I responded. Yes. I forget what I responded. I was like. Like, I'm like I'm like this is really fun. fun Typical really clever. Fun, yeah. <laughs> it was. I'm like oh man, I'm having fun doing this. Right. And you, what did you say? Something like life is not fun. Hey, I'm not here to have fun. That, that's a word you can. And use Clemmer said that what you know you're you're basically happy that you're dumber than that. I said I'm I'm so glad I'm 20 points 20 IQ points below you because yeah, you're a happier person. Absolutely. Yes. No question. You know, about like, it. We're, we're very similar in that we have the same interest. I think we look at the world in a similar way. But then you're so much smarter than me. That, but well, it makes, I, I don't get into but that. It makes, but it makes you like hate everything. I'm like I'm right. glad I'm I'm this. You would love to eliminate that word, huh? Fun. Cinematrix? From like the vocabulary. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I know. Like, I like when kids have fun and people, I think as an adult, you should, like, fun is not, things aren't fun, right? Bullshit. Everything but, but, I but, do but, is to have fun. Everything. I try That's to. That's you don't have kids. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but just fine. I, I don't, I, when people don't have kids, like, I don't, uh, some people judge people. Like, if you don't have kids, I think that's great. Have like, fun. I assume you don't want to, right? No, I, we might. You might. Yeah. Like, she's younger than she's you. She's younger. Right? Yeah. Oh, is something, you want to announce something? No, 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 I have a name to announce. I say, say we might. It's definitely he's something. announcing he's busting in there. I don't, I don't feel like you should <laughs> I, I have would, kids. I would, oh, I think, I think I'd, I'd like to have one. But don't treat it like a, like a toy. Don't be like, fun. No, but like, don't treat it like a, don't be like that. It's a lot of work. Like you know what I mean? I, like, so. I, you, I, 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 I understand how the world, I can't understand I think that. you're going to be like Joel Higgins on Silver Spoons. Like, you're going to be going around <laughs> on a train. Just like, just raise the kid, okay? Treat him like a, you know, don't, yeah. Uh, you should, know, you know, like, if I have a kid, it's going to be like my buddy and we're going to hang out and don't, do like. That's important. Should, and you know, you Harry and I have that kind of relationship, yeah. but it can't, but it can't just be that. No. You know, but you, I, and I also think you're going to. Because your dad died when you were young, yeah. you're gonna overcompensate. This sure. is probably something you should talk to in therapy. I would agree with that. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk. Kirk ten is Chris's dad died like a curtain fell on him or something, right? Mm -hmm. in Broadway. No, he had cancer. Oh, was, I thought he died in the curtain <laughs> no. accident on Broadway, no? No. He did work on Broadway. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, no, was no, no, the Broadway yeah. he was fine. It was after Broadway <laughs> it was but, after uh, Broadway. Yeah. But he did big shows. He did huge shows. The course, no, the course line did you say one time? Uh no, it was Radio City Music Hall for but, years. Okay. And then uh he went and did uh Me and My Girl, which won uh, the best actor, best actress. Is you know Marriott Marquis in uh yes, Times Square? Of course. The very first show there <laughs> oh, was really? Me and My wow. Girl. Oh nice. Uh, so my dad was thrilled he got to work in a new theater. Was, That's great. Yeah. How long has he been gone for now? Died uh, December thirteenth, nineteen ninety four. So wow. we're God. gonna be thirty, 30 years, years. years. Wow. which is crazy. Are you you're not older yet? Now than he was. I'm older than my father. Oh, ever you was, are. How old was he when he died? Mind fuck. He I was. Uh, I always think of that. Forty two. Oh God, he was so young. It was. It's so he's younger than wow. my dad. Like, 
Like, my dad would be 70. So he was younger. Okay, he'd be 72. Oh, yeah, my dad yeah. was born in 52. He was a young yeah. guy. I'm obviously a young guy. Yeah, it Jeez, was... Uh, geez. But you always compare yourself to your parents. Exactly, Steve. Jeez. Um, well, all three of us, though, we have no dads. No, we have no dads. And, yeah, you, you mine... can, you can, and you're like, oh, like, I'm sure you do it now. Like, oh, where is my dad when... And now, yeah, all the time. All and, the time. All, I do, Ryan and I do it all the time. I know, I used to do it all the time, too. And now, when you reach that... It's like, oh, he wasn't... He wasn't yeah, you now... <laughs> right. How, how old was your dad going to be? Right now, if he was alive, yeah. he'd turn 75 in uh, November. Oh, wow. Yeah, mine would have been 80 in June. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are that's a but geez, that's a, such a young thirty years. Yeah, that's a long it's time. It's, it's almost like don't like not that you don't remember them, but it's like things are getting foggy. Uh that happened a while ago. Yeah, like, that happens after like the tenth year. It gets yeah, a little foggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like wild to watch like the old VHS tapes and like hear his voice again and see him again. Because you're what? Like, fifteen? I just turned fifteen. Wow, Jesus. Yeah. Is, is your mom still alive? Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Is like. Yeah, it sucks. It happens, but like it happens to all of us. And I'm well, lucky my young. mom is healthy, and I'm in my. <clears throat> that's true. And my, all my grandparents lived pretty long lives. Like and my, my my sibling, my sister's healthy. Like yeah. I'm lucky that everyone else in my family. So I, I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's it's tough being a human being. Like people, mm. that's why better helps are out. Like better it's tough. Yeah. bad luck. The guy pulled the wrong curtain, fell on, and he died. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> no, With the Mario Marquis, it's unbelievable. Not what happened. Me and my girl canceled for the for the week. No, Jeez, no, no, unbelievable. No, no, no. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. Go get your help today, please. Our friends at BetterHelp, uh, we thank them for that. What else is going on? Did you bring a game today? I did bring a game. Oh, before I say it, though, take I, your time. one quick thing. Uh, take, the nicest take, band my dad ever worked. So, Radio City Music Hall in the 80s started having a lot of bands. Sure. Stuff. The greatest people by far, Grateful Dead. I can see that. Everyone says that. Like, they were it's really good to be behind the scenes guys. I'm more than the worst man they ever had. <laughs> oh, the worst guy was a guy named Peter Allen. Um, know that name or not? You you would recognize his. Uh, <coughs> what did he, what did he have? He had a song. Uh, Peter Allen. Peter Allen, Australian guy. Uh, I think so. He's like sa- saying about like New York, the Frank Sinatra version, but he had his own version that was a hit for a while. Australian. He's dead. He's dead. He died in nineteen ninety two. Oh, he, oh, my dad. I looked him. There you go. June nineteen ninety two. That's yeah. Your dad beat him. He was married to Liza Minnelli. That's how I know him for seven years. And uh, he was such a dick to the guys. Oh, really? Scenes. And so he had a bit where he had to uh, sit on a moon, like a crescent moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were going to bring him up and to fuck with him. They brought him up really fast. And he was screaming and crying uh, during oh, really? rehearsal. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, they were really fucking with him. I guess, I guess he was an asshole. Oh, that's funny. That's, see, I like that. And what is she in her 80s now, probably? Liza? He has to be. Yeah. You know where mom is? Refresh my memory. I don't know. You really don't know? I think I see. I think Steve knows these things. Me too. Well, I'm, I'm shocked. Do you know who his are? mom is or no? I don't even know if you. Would I know. don't expect them to know. I expect him to know. I don't even know if you would know Liza the Minnelli's name. Mother I don't know Liza is... Minnelli. Starred in maybe. I'm dead serious about this. Starred maybe the most famous film in the history of this country. Maybe. Wouldn't you say? Yes. I, I wouldn't say necessarily. I'd say the Godfather. Certainly. No. 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 This is more famous. This is more watched. Yes. Oh, this is probably the most, most watched movie yes. in the history of this country. What, the Wizard of Oz? Yes. Who's the star Oh, uh, Ju- oh. Judy Garland. There you yes. go. There you go. All right, all right. Go, Judy Steve. Garland is... Yes. Liza Minnelli's mom. What? They look really? exactly her alike. Dad, her dad is uh, Vincent. Vincente. 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 Yeah, yeah. Vincente. Yeah. Vincente. Yeah. Vincente. Yeah. director of like... What are you saying? Yeah, like you know that. No, no. I mean, I'm just trying to picture that. Judy Garland? What I'm not lying to you. Honestly, a was breath that, of fresh air. Was that her stage name or is that... I don't know that. Yeah. No, yeah, it was. She was... um. She was from a family of singers, and uh, what Judy, was Judy Garland? Garland's real name. It's a weird. It's a it's an odd name. I'll look it up. Yeah, uh, uh, we may have someone that might know it. Uh, we have the commissioner on the line. Oh, okay. Oh, so, uh, Fran- oh, oh, good. Yes, Francis Gum. Francis Ethel Gum. Gum. Yeah. Oh, she was sixteen when they shot the Wizard of Oz. Is that right? Came on wow. thirty nine. Yeah. She was born in twenty two. I imagine yep. they shot in thirty eight. Yeah. Probably. <clears throat> She's yeah. getting harassed by like the Munchkins, right? I don't know that. That's like the story. Could be right. She was married five times. Uh, Tumultu- yeah, I did not like, a... did not like that Renee Zellweger movie when no. she won the Oscar. It was bad. Good morning, Mr. Commissioner. Morning. I, I would not have known that fact, by the way. Um, really? The, no, the, the one that they, you just said. The one that just said. Oh, I, mean, oh, I knew the Francis is gone. Do you know the plot of Dirty yeah. Dancing? <laughs> I, well, that's, that's what I, that's, I got a new nickname for Steve. Uh-oh. No. Here we go. <laughs> Steve, I, I think it, it's time to, it's, Steve Andrew Augustus Gloucester. That's, oh, it. that's, oh, that's, exactly oh, that's what it is. so true. It's it's a it's a, it's a liar. It was, it was you killed him for lying lie. forever. And I'm starting to think. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to think. I don't think he saw Oppenheimer. I don't think he I saw, saw Oppenheimer. You know what he's being. You know what ultimately. You know he's being. Jeff. You know what he is. He's inconsistent, Steve. Yeah. 
You guys cannot go piss in the wind. I, I, I absolutely did it. <laughs> Tell us the plot of the uh, motion picture Oppenheimer, directed by Christopher Nolan. The atomic bomb. That's the plot of the film? That's, that's, that, I actually would say that's wrong. I agree like, with you, Joe. Oh, my yeah. God. Who, who else is in it? What do you mean who's in it? Who's in the film? It's, I don't know actors that well. The... Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait it's a very famous one, the one best supporting actor. I love that reply. What do you mean who did it? <laughs> it's a lot of that to that. <laughs> There's two the movies. If we, major if, movie stars in this movie. I can't believe, Steve, how old Killian are you? Killian Murphy? Yeah, there you go. All right, all right. How old are you, Steve? 40... Going to be 47 in May. All right, so you're two years younger than me. You mm-hmm. do whatever. I've never seen ER. What do you want me you've to never do? Seen, he's, he's never seen <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. I find that oh, amazing. I've never seen it. Or Dirty Dancing. Yeah, or Dirty Dancing. What are you going to give me? Like a earlier, list of things like, I have to watch? Maybe. Yeah, yep. when you asked like what he's been watching, he like made up some some fake like Netflix. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a lie. Yeah. No, that was on. <laughs> that was absolutely that was on. Yeah. It was, was absolutely lie. on. <sighs> Casey's not gonna like this thing. No, no she's not. No, I'm she's done. Not, she's, she's not I was like. done before I even started. <laughs> she's not like. I, you were right, by the way. I apologize. You mentioned the Jake Marsh thing yesterday. I forgot we aren't playing the experts. So yeah, I, I, that is on me. Yeah, it's a, it's a big it's a big one. It's also, uh, I know people like to you play large. You get you get some older. Pop culture stuff too. That's true. I, it's helpful. They beat us in the playoffs be, a couple be, of years ago, though. Right. They did. Yeah. The the first time. No, it was it was when you had Pat. So you you played yeah, with one person. True. That's Rico. true. And Rico. Well, half a person. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If, if Jake Marsh yeah. wins, he's gonna be like, and X Y Z gets it done. <laughs> do that, right? Are you gonna Are you gonna go at him at all? You're gonna try to. No, I mean, no, he's I, he's a very nice guy. He's just I don't you know I have no connection with that team really. Not really. No? Not really. I, I don't not. know them. I did the thing in Chicago with Jake. Vibs is a... Uh, he's a nice guy. Vibs is great. He's like one of my he's a closest lunatic, friends. But he's a nice guy. Yeah. Well, he's crazy, you know? I'm all crazy. I'm crazy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. He's crazy. Anything else going on, Jeff? No, but that's that's what it's just... We don't ever yeah. do this. It's actually... It, it, it tapes tonight. It tapes today. Yeah. And then airs tonight. Justin was saying, quick, yeah. So, yeah. Good. No, no. I just... I just I had to... I, I, I like Steve, but that that's just... I can see him squirming. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, are you, why are you so like that? Like, just relax. We're having fun. Like, no one's mad at you. I'm going to go away for six months now. Just That's relax. It. I'm done. Just I'm gonna, relax. I'll cancel my Twitter right yeah, now. Yeah, don't get rid of your Twitter yeah. account. Everything's fine. How many Twitter accounts All right, Jeff, we'll talk to you. Just one. No, but how many, how many times have you... No, that's not true. You've had two. You've had at least two. Well, I've... Because I've, you've been off and on. You've been off and on. Yeah. It's another yes. lie. Yeah, another lie. It's just yes. another lie. I've had Steve from Gloucester for a while. But before that, you had another one. So I said, how many Twitter accounts have you had? You had another. Oh, one. how many have I had in total? <laughs> two. Yeah, okay. Two and how in many total, times, but I've been off and on. How many times, you, on, how many times have you on. turned the on and off switch on the one you currently have? Oh, at least like three or four. Okay. But I've been on consistently now for. <laughs> Dusty tells you that. <laughs> how ironic. That. Jesus. But uh, yeah, I I was off and on for a while. Okay. That's for sure. Okay. Steve, Steve, might, was, might Steve be was, off uh, again. Steve was very might critical. Be no, you're fine. What's that? Steve was very critical of me about a year ago. Oh, was that uh, right? On Twitter, yes. What did he say? He was he, oh. he throwing some shots. Yeah. Well, he's very pro Kirk Minahan, right? Very was, pro. Was, very things yeah. were down? Very. Yes. He's like Dan Katz. He's nice to you when I'm nice to you, and then when I'm mean to you, he's, he doesn't like you. Well, I'm loyal to this man. True or that's false? You, you can't have your own opinions? No. No, I have his opinions. Uh, that's, wow. <laughs> that's what the chat's about. Clemmer, believe me, four years was one of those guys tweeting at like Murchison and all these people as well. Well, Murchison's a bad guy. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's a bad guy. Should he own KFC? Re- re- Reachio? But that's bad Reachio? guy. Yeah. Clemmer, bad guy. But that's no, what our Clemmer messages are about, right? Hmm? In the group chat every day, that's what you tell us, right? Yeah, go, go get them. Yeah. Yep. Richo was ready. Richo went to that Golden State Sellers game. He was ready to come in the next day. He texted me. Oh, really? yeah. yeah. Here we have him in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I can't. I can't find uh, Steve's old tweets about Clemmer. It's like Coleman's old tweets. <laughs> well, what's the game? Oh, do we have the game music? Yes. Coleman. Miss this. Please don't tell me it's this Hall of Fame thing. It's not the Hall of Fame. Oh, I forgot. About that. <laughs> Best part of coming leaving was we were done with that Hall. You were done. <laughs> Never seen ER. No, not one episode. You watch Friends, I'll watch ER. If I could tell you like what Friends about, you only in ER in the cast. Um, very famous actor. What's his name? Who was in uh, the Perfect Storm? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Come on. Uh, I mean, you should know that name. I know that it's. Uh, Have you ever seen him in anything? You saw the Perfect Storm. Perfect I Storm. Yeah. Any other movies? If, I think if he's another movie, that's a, that's a, that's enough. No. Hmm. Like if you need to name two movies, the guy is in. That's good enough for not knowing the name, maybe. But this is a big name. I mean, it's a huge name. <coughs> it's about as big as it gets. Hmm? Oh my God! What is like name? I'm blanking. I'm blanking on his name. 
He was, uh, did you see Michael Clayton? No. Have you seen Batman and Robin? Batman, I've seen. Oh, what is his name? It's, um. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> now I'm going to be here all night. Uh. Oh my God, I'm blanking on his name. I can see the face. I can. George Clooney. There we go. I like oh. that. He's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, what do we got? George Clooney. All right. So this is sitcom parents. And I want sitcom you. Parents. I have nine sets of sitcom parents. Nine sets. And I want you to, uh, like, basically we're going to tier them. So, like, you know, the best to the, oh. to the worst, obviously. Are you sure I watch all these? Because we. You absolutely I'm have watched I'm on the 90s. You this know. is all 80s. Okay. Every <clears throat> single one of these shows were in the 80s. And every parent has to have. One set of parents has to have. Do we one. break the parents up at all or no? They, they're a no, duo. You're getting this set. So, I'm getting uh, uh, right. I'm getting Stephen and Elise. Correct. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with the Huxtables, and it's how if you want Turn them down to be your bit. parent. If so you like, want them to be a parent, like how, like where, like would the Huxtables be good parents for you or bad parents for you, or kind of in the middle? It's tough. That's tough, obviously. <laughs> I always thought that they were uh, Cliff was a little tough on the kids as a as a, as a kid. One of the stricter yeah. TV mm-hmm. parents. Yeah, and Claire could be tough too. Yes. I would say no. Okay, so you have yeah. them at a lower tier. Okay. Steve Robinson agrees with me. He would not want them as parents. The Connors <laughs> from Roseanne. No. Too poor. Yeah. <laughs> they always had money problems. Yeah, they always. They were like yeah. really poor. Yeah. Which is yeah. interesting. They didn't really do that much on TV. No. Yeah. Uh, plus, you have to be in Lansing, Michigan. Which... Yes. I didn't like their kitchen. No. I didn't like the living room. Uh, that house is gross. Uh, the Keatons. Yes. Stephen Keaton is the greatest. Mm-hmm. Great, great dad, right? Great. They're very funny, too. Like, once he got his beard, he's even funnier. Yeah, anti Scheffler. I like a better with <laughs> yes. yeah. Definitely yes. No? And, oh, yeah. yeah no, they, yeah, I think that definitely. they might be the, the team. You watch Family here. Ties? Yeah. You did. Okay. Well, you're saying definitely like you. Oh, I, I like them. Don't make me ask you. There you go. Oh, yeah, there right. you go. Yeah, Mark yeah, Price. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Tanner is from Alf. So the Alf's parents and Alf. The mom was not much, it was a lot of Willie. He yells a lot. Yeah. Hey, Willie. Yeah. 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 Was the no. mom? Sa- yeah, yeah. Was the mom the mom in Seinfeld? That was the that was the neighbor. The neighbor. The okay, yeah. 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 Uh, that guy. I think his name is Max White. That's right. Wild. Yeah, yeah, a lot of issues. <laughs> a lot of issues. He was on uh, the Norm show too. For, uh, yes, he was. Yeah. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I don't like all the yelling. No. And the mom had. It was, I loved when I was younger. I loved the sister on that. Oh, show. Andrea Els. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You got it. Good for you. Uh. Okay. The Full House. Danny, Joey, See, Jesse. Is, I'm already out at that point. I'm too old to watch Full House. You never seen Full House? I've seen it, but like I didn't like really watch it. All right, they premiere in the '80s. So oh, I know '89, right? '88, '88 or '89. Yeah. 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 Some of those say no on that one. Okay. You guys, you know better than me. No. Do you watch Full House? There's a lot of dude energy in that house. Yeah. No mom, you know. Who's the guy? The Lance Morris that guy? Dave Coulier. Yeah, I like him. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like. Uh, that. He had a whole season where he had like a woodchuck on his. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Who's at UPS? No. Oh, somebody else? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, like early. The <coughs> Seavers. Yes, Joanne Kearns. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but I, I don't mm-hmm. think but I'm thinking more like, uh, but this is my mom, so I don't want to fuck her. No, you don't want to. Right. Yeah. Did you want to right. your parents? Yeah. <laughs> right. They, they're they probably number two. I wouldn't want them because Alan Thick was Worked a psychiatrist and yeah. all these crazy people in your house. That was a little strange. Yeah. That was a little strange. That's true. Name? Huh? What was this couple's name? Deceivers? Deceivers. Deceivers. Yeah. Why? Because I'm making a list. Oh, thank you. All right. Check uh, the Bundys. <laughs> Married children. No, too dumb. Yeah. Too, mm-hmm. like, too shticky. And I wouldn't want people. Yeah, no. Uh, Tony and Angela from Who's the Boss? So you're counting them as a couple. I am because Tony. They got married. They both each have a kid. So there has to be at least that direct connection. I kind of wanted to bang Mona when I was like 12. Mona? Really? Yeah, I did. It was, you know, like, what? The old, you know, like those 50 and 60 plus magazines. <laughs> You were a big Catherine Hellman? Yeah, I masturbated to Mona. No, I think you, I did. no, you, I definitely, no you did not. I did. Definitely. Mona? You, you had definitely. a show. Definitely. <laughs> you had a show with Alyssa Milano and you. And way you more than the, oh, way, I can see Judith Light. Chris, but not I masturbated Mona. in the movie theater to Kathy Baker and Edward Scissorhands. No, That's, a, I understand that. No, you I don't want to say in a theater, but. I'm to. Yeah, but definitely. What Judith, show was Judith she? Light. Who's yes. the boss? Who's the boss? No, nah, Judith Light. Judith Light looks good now. She's shaved very well. Yeah. I, 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 I Mo- can, Alyssa I can Milano see was on the yeah, show. Right. Chris Mona? Mona was, Mona? Mona was fucking horny. <laughs> she was, yeah, she was get Blanche. Fucked. I wanted to fuck Blanche. No, you know. <laughs> yes, I did. I remember watching the Golden Girls with my grandparents and Bill Ricca. They had like a great room. And I remember watching, I had a blanket over me. I would get a boner when Blanche would be, when I was like 12. When Blanche would get like, talk about yeah, fucking yeah. some guy. I would get a big boner. 
A little bothered. Did you tell your friends about this? <laughs> no. I was always embarrassed. I remember telling my cousin <laughs> once about... Rightfully so. I remember telling my cousin once about how I got a boner when two people kissed on the love boat. And I don't think he talked to me for like 10 years. Like you thought, <laughs> I was a yeah. fucking freak. So you weren't into Beatha or you went with... No, 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 no. <laughs> Blanche was hot. <laughs> for an older lady, yeah. I don't... Yeah. Of the four, yes. Yes! I, no, I would have Betty White of the four. Physically? That's a crazy No, 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 no. Blue Blue was hot. No. No. And she was Ru a horny Ru bitch. Man. She was fucking down the clown. On that show. She's fucking everybody. On, on, that, show, that, on that show, it was definitely Blanche. Of okay, course. They, they want you to believe. That's what they're telling you. There's a, but well, you yeah, but I was 12. I believe them. With Betty White first? Betty White. Betty White was more attractive than Rue McClanahan. I, Blanche, my, my gilf Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Blanche, for sure. I guess Catherine Mona. Yeah. There weren't a lot of them back then. But that was like a little thing for a while, like old horny ladies. It was a thing, yeah. Yeah, which I liked. You like the era? Angel, Angel Lansbury, no. Not a lot of sex on that show. No. Too many murders. I was in Donato on Taxi. She was... She was hot. She was a grandmother. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying. I'm just she was like... She 25. She was beautiful. I, that was my... She's a genius too, isn't she? She remembers every day in history. Like yeah. you said to her... Really? Yeah, <laughs> wow. She's one of like the 20 people on earth. You said to her... What did you do Monday, March 18th, 1982? She would tell you. She'd tell you everything. She's like, oh. and, it yeah, but, and it checks out. She's yeah. on 60 Minutes. Like, but it's she not aged well, too, though. Like, if you saw photos from her, maybe like a decade No, but that's ago. not... Do you understand so, the exercise? I understand the exercise. Are you trying to annoy me? Yes. Stop <laughs> annoying me. Go ahead. Uh, uh, the last one is the Arnolds from the Wonder Years. The mom in the Wonder Years was married to a much older guy in real life. That's true. Orson yeah. Bean, I think. Yeah, her name's Donna Mills. Well, the guy... Yeah, Orson Bean. Al you're right. I think she's Allie Mills. Allie Mills. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Is she Donna Mills' sister? I don't even know. I don't know. Dan Laurie was a hard ass on that. Yeah, he, he was, he was I was scared of him as a he kid. Yeah. I would not want. He might, they might be last on the list, honestly. But he's a good guy. He was just he, really, he, he was, was by far the most though. intimidating. He was, yes, he was played Lombardi. Yeah, on Broadway. He's a, Dan Laurie's a good actor. Yeah, he's good. Good, solidly. There's like yeah, there's a lot of TV, a lot of theater. So the Keatons <laughs> are your pick. Keatons won Seavers two. Wouldn't you say? I definitely say Keatons first. Is a game? Ke Keatons are definitely. It's more of an activity. Uh, okay. But I hate. I, who else can I talk to these things about? You know. I'm here, you can call me anytime you'd like. No, if I do, then you you. I wouldn't answer. No, who would like? Life is not fun, and it's all just. Your third would have been the Huxtables, maybe. Uh. That might be my number two. Maybe. The might have been a bit much. With. Maybe. Mm. So I'd be black. Hell yeah. yeah, I guess so. That's exciting. I mean, yeah. I'm already half black, <laughs> but I'd be fully black. <laughs> Mona was hot. I'm gonna look up Mona. Mona was like, I think one of the episodes, Mona was in like a bra or she was naked or something. Let me see. She was naked. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tony walked in on Angela in the shower. Yeah, so that's in the credits. That's in the credits. We yeah. were like, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And he's diving in the whole plate. Right. right. Tony says <laughs> Angela naked. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really care about Alyssa Milano. And I knew that someone was gay when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm not sure. Kirk, what about the Tortellis? <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> didn't really work out that Didn't way. work out. Look at Mona here. She's looking good. Chilling in the bath. She's dead. 2019. She had a good run. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just you know who's married to attractive? Oh, what's oh fuck. I'm not doing a good Thank name. you, Justin. Who is the older lady on the show with Tio Leone? <sighs> She's married to um um the one who's in all the all the yeah. I know. We're not doing a good job with this. It's uh, Holland Taylor. Thank you. And she's married to the woman who's like played like Marsha Clark. Yes. Uh, she's not oh, the Ryan that, Murphy ones. That woman's like a after your own heart a little bit. I, I imagine if she'd be on my list. Of of Gilf uh, when I was a kid because she was in like she was in shows like that she was in like yeah. she was in, like I think she was the building and say by the bell the new class like she was the head of that college was she yep. she was on that show yep I, I would she's put very attractive Holland Taylor? Taylor Mona thank you oh. I might even put Jessica Walter on that list I mean, like three's a crowd like she, yep. that that so, era what was Mona back like in her fifties maybe. No. 40s? No, 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 no. no. I would think older than that. Older Maybe than late that? 50s, 50s, Steve. 50s, yeah. Catherine Hellman, born 1929. So she would have been she like 89. 50s in the 60s in yeah. that series, yeah. Soap, who's the boss? Coach, everybody loves Raymond. Great run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Married uh, just twice. Oh, wait, this might be Angela. Yeah, Judith Light is Angela. Yeah. Angela's very attractive. Did yeah, you, sure, she's lovely. Did you ever watch Soap? Was that? My mom did. Yeah. She was a, a traumatic episode of Family Ties for me, Judith Light. When she kissed Stephen Keaton, she worked at the... Oh, uh, at that public television. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 
It was like very, it was, it was serious. Stephen King, like when he had a heart attack, it was very serious. And I was, as a kid, that would affect me when that, the stuff like that happened. Remember the episode where Alex's friend died in drunk driving? It's all black in the back. That really yeah, affected me. With the uh, shrink, that episode? Yes. Yes. That yeah. was. Is that My Name is Alex, those episodes? Yeah, My Name is Alex. Two parter, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Two parter. Those two parters were not fucking around back then. No. <laughs> no, no. So you didn't you think about like, you didn't think about like Alex Karras and Susan Clark Webster's parents? I did, no? but they yeah. not his parents. I had a, I, by Why mom, not Kate's phone? Phil? No, I, yeah, that's true. You're I was so insensitive. It's climber. not it's that. Unbelievable it's unbelievable insensitive. Not, it's, it was more just like I was having a direct line. I had a draw Don't you miss somewhere. the years where a rich white people would just pluck a black kid that and put it on their lap? Because like, <laughs> my whole thing was like, so the Webster parents are. So Conrad Bain would not be on your list. That's the thing. No. So the Webster parents were much more parental, I feel like, than the different strokes. Yes. But if I have to have Webster, I have to have different strokes. And then we go down a. a Greg Evigan well, and Paul Reiser, no. Well, no, that would be. One well, was the dad. In, in, in my rules, because one's the dad. Henry huh. from Punky Brewster. You wouldn't put I it thought in? about that. Yeah. That also. So that's what, once we open that door. So Bosley and Ross are too old. Marion Ross and Tom Bosley. The Cunninghams. Too old. 70s. Maybe I said like had a premiere in the 80s, I okay. guess. Because <clears throat> they were on in the 80s. Yeah. But yeah. I would love to have them as a parent. So like the Webster parents. I love that house. I would like having the Webster parents. I would not want to have Conrad Strokes. Bain. Yeah. He was a little yeah, strange. I love that Happy Days house. I like the exterior. Oh, yeah. I like that neighborhood. The hell of a house for the guy. Well, the hardware business, I guess. Yeah. Mrs. C was home all the time. He got that great, uh, you know, Fonzie's apartment. Above yeah. The they probably made a few bucks off that. I thought Mrs. Uh, Mrs. I was like, the Fonz like like Mrs. C. I thought she was kind of cute too. Marion Ross. Now, if we that still would be, alive. Yes, she would be higher on my list than a lot of the names we mentioned so far. I agree. Very attractive yeah. woman. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good activity. You don't think so, Coleman? Uh no. Oh, yeah, sorry, she looks oh, Sydney so. Sweeney. Oh, no, no. I, I think... Didn't, didn't like that one, well, Colin? I guess she wouldn't be old to you guys, but I think Jessica Lange... Lang. Lang. I think she's, like... Now? A gilf now to me. Yeah, I'd well, say. Jessica Lange was one of the most... Was one of the yeah. most beautiful Watch women in the Tootsie. world. But what yeah. would... <laughs> all that jazz. I mean, she's Great. the angel yeah. of death. What would you consider a gilf or, now, Coleman? Like, in their 40s? 26 or? year old or something. No, like, uh, probably older than 60. Like, 62. That's pretty fair. Six, okay, 62. Okay. Good number. Yeah. That Blanche takes a bad take. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm not. She's a bad boy. What else? Uh, the, I saw that there was a new uh, Carano song. Oh, good. Was he, is he taking any specific target this time? Is it a member of the Democratic Party or no? He's going after the cannibals in Haiti. Oh, yeah. Haiti's a big Republican talking point. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't really know this story. Though. I don't really. I just saw that like a bunch of Justin. Go ahead. I'm sure you pay attention to it. Uh, Hades, their their government's in shambles right now. It's being run right. by and a, all the by a gang. Democrats years ago were telling us to go there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Conan O'Brien, and, and now people are saying. Well, everyone. The thing was was that Trump said Haiti was a shithole, and everyone was like, No, 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 right. no, no, no. Haiti's. Beautiful. Are you voting for Trump? I I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to vote. Honestly, I, if I do, be third party. I'm really disgusted Steve? right now. Voting for Trump. Yeah. To vote for President Trump. Yeah, I voted for him in the past. Small business owner. He's going to help times, you out. So I've always voted for Trump. Who are you voting for? I'm voting for President Trump. Really? Yes. I am. I know before you voted for Hillary Clinton, famously. I did. I told Kay that wouldn't be able to vote for I, I've changed so, on that. I, I can't I, I can't get past. I don't have a lot of use for Trump. When I watched them the other day, there's another clip of them like moving Biden around. Mm -hmm. I can't Excuse have that. shoes? Yeah, I can't have that guy <laughs> run the country. And I get Trump's not a great alternative. I completely understand that. But gonna, at least Trump can walk around. It's going to be 86, Biden. In, <clears throat> yeah. At the end of an the old time. 86, though. Mm -hmm. What's Trump going to be when he... It would be 80... 82. 82. 82. It's, uh, it's fucking unbelievable. Still, yeah. It's crazy. Jesus. What, what was the Haiti thing? Oh, Carano. I'm in Haiti. Invited to a barbecue. Mm. <laughs> When did he change like this, though? Like, when did he start embracing this stuff? When he was a Jerry, right? I feel like... I mean, he's always been kind of like a... This like, is kind of... He's always been interested uh, in politics. Yeah, like libertarian, right? Or, Huge. But really Republican. I don't... No, he's not. He is a... Any songs killing uh, Republicans lately on this Corona set list? Yes, Nikki Haley. Who <laughs> the Republicans hate. Okay, well... You know what I'm saying, though. Uh, yeah, there's no, like, anti-Trump song. Right, right, mm. right. When right. I was introduced to Matt, like, 12 years ago, it was, <coughs> this is, like, a libertarian. Like, that's the fir one so of the first thing I Is this still at a taco place or no? 
Uh, I haven't I haven't been to New Hampshire in a while. He's in New Hampshire though. Oh no, he's not. No, he's in, he's oh. in Florida. Oh, that's right. He's in Florida. Full yeah, time. and that's I, all. That's all libertarians are. Republicans that want to say they're not Republican. Well, I'm a libertarian. Yeah, I you know. I really don't. I would say Matt's really. I, some libertarians are in, told in like you know yeah. disguised Republicans. Matt's really not. Matt is like a devout. He, he has some crazy political. Now, if you feel something, he's not going to hide it. Yeah. No, no. I mean the closet. He's just going to let it go. <laughs> Do you right? still talk he's, to him? I said, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, Matt, Matt's, Matt's always going to be like a really great friend. Mm. We're texting last week. I like Carano. I just, it's a shame he, you know, couldn't, you just couldn't take the heat. It's probably better for him to move out, move away though, I think. From yeah, I think he's like, <laughs> I think, I think even he would admit like he probably took things too seriously. I, I, I would too, say honestly, to be fair, like early on, it's, it's, when you're first dipping into this stuff, there's no handbook But he was doing manual. it with everybody. Didn't he do that with Jerry too at the end where he was just kind of. I think he made a stand with Jerry. I didn't really agree with him, but that's what he wanted to do and. I, I understand Nazis the Jerry and white supremacist. I don't think he I don't think he's apologetic about the Jerry take. I think it's more like it's probably not like, a great hire. Like I was yeah. and, I, and I suggested them, so it just probably wasn't the best fit. You I know? think I think he wishes probably he and I do too. Like the first you know six months, the first year, or whatever, have more fun with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Carlo jumped right in though. Like he was in Madawaska, right? Yeah, yeah. He he that? produced a show for you before Madawaska. Though that day, the two before that, oh, that's, that's why he did it. Steve, Steve was going to Madawaska. Are you guys going to be here next Friday to produce a show? Or are you going to go to Maine early? What is your plan? Are you just going to do, do the show from here and then go? Pretty much, yeah. No, so we're doing well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you have things yeah, to do. That, with it, okay. that was kind of the plan, yeah. Okay. How, are, how are you? you you've you been harder on these guys the last couple of weeks. They're terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're always, what do you want me to say? You're always They're harder on your producers right before a live show because you expect a lot out of them. I treat my producers like... You probably know this now. If Steve Robinson comes back in, or Colin Ain, or Gus, once you've been through it and you leave, then I'm nice to you. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. Right now they're in the fire. Like if Coleman quit tomorrow and I saw him again, I'd be, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. If Coleman quit tomorrow, you would rip his throat out. That's not true. Yes, oh, but, oh, before Paul, yeah, 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 you know, right? Tomorrow being like a normal tomorrow. Oh so, yeah, like yeah, Monday, yeah. the Monday after. I'd be like, great, quit. Yeah. You know, but but then he'd come back in the studio, he'd be relaxed and he'd be fine. Yeah, like I Steve Coleman would. I like would. Steve the other day, you wouldn't be welcome here. Steve oh. the other day, like did the Milton's thing. Everyone's like, why don't you kill him? I'm like, he's been through the fire with me. I can't do that. Mm. You know, legitimate beef about the Burlington Mall. I think it's been corrected. <laughs> <laughs> A certain thing. <clears throat> I think. Has it been corrected? I don't know. Uh, we have to check next time he comes to. Or at the point now where Justin might have to sleep in the car outside of the Burlington this. Mall. He may yeah. have to. We need, we need you top condition before. Uh, I'll do that after Portland. For Portland, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you, for men. How are you feeling? Milton's.com, by the way. Go ahead. Like, are you, is this job what you thought it was going to be? Or is this what you expected it to be? Shut up, Clemmer. I'm curious. I can ask. That's a good question. I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm always curious. It is a, it's a good question. Go ahead. Thank you, Steve. Oh, um, I think it changes every day. Like, it's not, like, it just varies. Like, there's different stuff that comes up. We have live shows. We have the day-to-day show. There's interacting with guests and everything. Like, it, it's. It's just an ever-changing job. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's not changing that much. You do a show every day. Once in a while, we do a live show. Ever-changing. Yeah, I, I, I think it we is. We do it in Spanish today? Is it ever-changing? <laughs> yeah. Hola. We bring people in. I yell at you guys. We go home. <laughs> it's not that changing. Uh, and we do so. a live show, and then we move on. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Clemmer's not going to be here because of baseball. Ugh. That's right. It's the opening weekend. It's welcome at the Wilbur a couple of open arms a few yeah. summers ago. Yeah, it was so kind to of me. I saw that video Wait, popped what? up again. How what funny was that? Such an asshole. That was great. Really, that, really, that, really that, unnecessary. Like, I, made me feel good. I need that before the show. <laughs> I, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? You, you know what? Much. One tweet above me when I die. Oh, thank yeah, you. That's right. fine. So, right, just give me the one. Just give me the one. <laughs> one. Can it be a video tweet? No. Hey, it can't be. It can't be part one. I hate those. Well, no, I, be, yeah, I wouldn't. Do. How many words though? Like really quick. Like, well, right. I, have, I have the boot check, so I can go as long as. Oh, you go forever. Oh, okay. Good. Great. Jesus Christ. Uh, what else? Milton's.com. These store for men. Three great locations. South Shore Plaza, Brain Street. Where else, Steve? Chestnut Hill. There you go. And the Burlington Mall. There you go, Steve. Newest location at the Burlington Mall. Uh, <clears throat> big season coming up for Milton's with prom and graduation and weddings. Buy one, go one free. Suit event continues to roll on. I pick up my suit tomorrow at Milton's, I think. Friday? I forget. Milton's.com. The greatest place in the world. You've been to Mil- Milton's at all lately? Clemens? I haven't lately. I, Did you ever I, go? You went with us, right? We could use it at Milton's in New York. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it's a great... It's a great place to go and get anything you need. You got the oh, stuff for the summer. Dude, I'm just asking <laughs> if you've ever been there. Take it easy. Take it I easy. No, I, no, I, did you go with us to a thing once? Yes. That's all I'm asking you. Take yes, it easy. I answered you. Yes. You didn't. Just, uh, they I great, did. They have great things. I was thinking, I was, I was going through all the shirts I have. I love it. So if I need orange juice, I can go to Milton's? 
They have everything you need? <laughs> I bet they would help you get it. They would right. definitely. They, they would. Not Steve. Helpful. Are, are you, you going to go down the path of the orange juice? Because I heard that yesterday with Justin and the orange juice. And you What's were saying that? The orange, the orange juice, Orange juice is worse than soda. Like, you having that whole conversation No, it's the same. Yesterday. It's just sugar. That's oh, all. Yeah. It's, just, it's just sugar. No? I mean, it's just sugar. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. But it's yeah. got, like, vitamins, right? Isn't that, like... Does it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you put it up against a soda. Sure, you know, but I'm saying, like, if you're trying to lose weight, I think it's a, a right. probably a yeah. push. How was the shake? It was delicious. Was it good? good. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> it was a great meal. Yeah. You look, like, very skinny today. No, I don't. You do. I think you lost 10 pounds yesterday. I lost 47 pounds on the crispy cream diet. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm losing weight left and right, baby. Oh, I could tell. I hope so. What else? Uh, I saw Bruce was back last night. Back in Phoenix Finals. last 29 night. 29 yes. song performance. Were you supposed to go to that? I was supposed to go with Riggs, but I. I a, Riggs wound up doing something else, and then I got so sick, I had to push all this Portland stuff back. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. So I'm going to see him hopefully in Connecticut, and then once or twice on the tour after that, I hope. We shall see. Have you ever seen him in concert? I never have. I'd love to. But you like, like, what do you like, the Beastie Boys on there, right? I do have the Beastie Boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not in concert. I can see them in concert. No, they're not. What music do you like, Steve? Like Perry Rolling Como? Stones. Well, that's it. You ever seen him in concert? Van Halen, Halen? Huey, Huey I mean, Lewis. You ever seen Rolling Stones in concert? Rolling Stones, The Steel Wheels. Oh right! Yeah, Same I, I haven't them. seen them. I, 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 yeah, I you should go. This I know. Time. I really. I saw a Cardi and, and, and you have no interest. Yeah. You see, the Eagles might be going to the Sphere. I have no interest in the Sphere. Yeah. The Sphere does nothing. We well, have oh, no interest why? in Vegas. Right? I think I get sick. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. It's cool. Do people get sick though. Yeah, I read this. But you have no, no, you have no interest in Vegas at all. None. Yeah. None. No, 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 no. Shoot dice. Nope. I mean, I like to play blackjack. I do, but like, I play by myself. That's how you play blackjack. No, you need no, no, I, so I like to no. I'm the dealer and the guy. But I like to play by myself. Oh, like, like oh in a row. okay. I got that 100 hours thing. Switch chairs. It's not my head. So, so we're, we got the mini golfing in Chicago. Big yeah. thing when we go out, we try to have nice dinners I don't want to take this stupid picture like you did, like a big asshole. Like, oh, I know. I'm having fun. You're so happy. I was actually sick when I saw that Why? picture. Why? Why does that bother I think that picture got me sick. Why? I don't like, I, I, it's, it's actually a good question psychologically. I don't know why, but I don't like when people are having a good time. So you're not going to go out to the dinners with us? To what? Go out to the dinners with us. In during Chicago. the tournament? Yes, after the tournament. Oh, no, night, yeah, I dinner during that. After the tournament? Well, yeah, we're there Wednesday and Thursday night. We're going to go out and have dinners with the if guys. If I win, I'll probably go. If I don't win, I'll probably go back to my hotel room. Okay. What do you want me to say? I don't, well, Wednesday, you're not going to know if you won or not. Wednesday is going to be... Oh, no, Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll, if Jeff wants to go get something to eat or somebody, yeah. like, a smaller group... You won't go out with the boys? I was a, no. where, where does it I get, don't like most of those where guys. Where does it get uncomfortable That's not true. Who's you in the group? Who's in that true. group? I'll tell you if I like him or not. Francis was in... Uh, Fine. You like Marty? I don't know him. Oh, you, Marty's fun. Uh, you, guys, Kyle, you like KB? Sure. Went out with yeah, this one yeah. Um... Will went out with this one tonight. You love Will. Yeah, I, I like Will. Will Stop, I like. You like Will all I these like. guys. I like Will. I know Will. I know the other guys. Will I like. You like Tommy? He went out with us. I like Tommy. You like all these guys. I like talking to them for six minutes when I see them. I don't want to watch Will come to put food in his face. I've you, seen you it. Said you said you're going to go to your hotel room by yourself like, and, and eat almonds like... like no, like, I would go to a little restaurant by myself and just read a book. I'd, rather, I'd much rather read a book than talk to you or, but, or fucking KP. But you would rather go like one-on-one, -on -one, like you and Jeff yes. or you and like... Yeah, I would go with Clumber, but Clumber doesn't want to go. I would go yeah. with the guys. I That's not true. That. I, you never... No, you, you didn't invite me. I invited we, you We dinner. had dinner together. We, I, I invited you. No, that's not true. The Mexican place, that's a... I brought it to you. That's a, that, I said to you, let's go to that Mexican place. Yes. And no, you gave me COVID. No, I invited you. No, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> I invited you. You gave me COVID. What's the name of that town? Master. That was a nice that's town. bullshit. That was a nice town. What was the name of that town? Forget. Brookhaven? Is that right? Maybe. Brookhaven? That was a nice town. I like that town. You stayed in that town, right? Very walkable, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. stayed in a shit fucking hotel somewhere. But you would go if Dan asked you to go, right? If there was sure. A with a bunch of guys? Yeah. I, I, I did the steak thing with Portnoy, the branded dinner. Yeah. I didn't. But like... Those dinners are, can also become like a one-on-one -on -one thing if it's big enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like, I'm all set. I don't want to bring it down. Like, you know, it's just like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I wish you just had more fun. But what's wrong? But but, but for me, I'm, just, it's, it's not like, a word. But it. if I want to have a sandwich and read the book by myself, why is that bad? It's fine. But you just, it, it's all of us are all there together. It's fun to hang out with the guys. You don't get to see them all the time. You just saw them like a month ago. What do you want? Yeah, it's fucking, you go out to beers with these guys like four times a week. The dinners were the best part of that of that week. It's, it's fun. You're, you're out, out with the guys. It's just Do fun. you understand I'm there to win the mini golf tournament? Yeah, I guess. I don't but, give a fuck about having dinner with Marty Mush. You can do both things. Both things can be true. That's why you're not going to win. Yeah. I'm not going to win because I suck at golf. Yeah, well, that's why. Maybe that's why you suck at golf. Because I. Because you're, you're not competitive. <laughs> you're not, you're, yeah, you're like you're like you're kind of competitive, maybe. but like. Yeah, but Kirk, I'm pretty competitive. About stuff, I'm good. Like the yeah. trivia gets me pissed. But off. you enjoy Sleeping. being alone. 
Like you like going yeah, for your runs Coleman. alone, you reading alone. cross country alone. Yeah, you like doing things alone. <laughs> you got yes. me on that one, Coleman. What did he say? He said he said sleeping. He's uh, you are good at sleeping. <laughs> 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 you are good at sleeping. <laughs> you want to talk some more Yankees, buddy? Oh, oh yeah. So easy, yeah, yeah. Oh, this oh, is clever. Oh, I've heard that voice before. This is clever. Oh, I've heard that voice before. So you would you wouldn't have dinner with with Coleman? Of course I would. You would? This funny. So Coleman is the is the greatest. So what? The first when I first got to clip that when I first got to Barstool, there was no one nicer. Kinder, he he. Uh, Clubber, you're fucking me right now. By the way, like, everyone was like, that. "What's wrong with that? He's nice." What's wrong with saying you're nice? He was the uh, nicest is, guy in the office. Gonna, yeah, like, I literally, believe that. Literally the nicest guy, and he comes here and he's bad boy Coleman, oh, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, he's got the uh, leather jacket." Fuck, yeah. fuck Clemmer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a bitch! Oh yeah, yeah. It's, that's a Kelly Keeg's talking point right there. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? That whole thing, like you change when you got here. Oh, oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I saw Keeg's even commented on one of my tweets the other day about you, the 2020 one, the Trump thing. Oh, what she said. When the guy from yeah, she responded to one of them. She's what like, did she say? He's changed a lot. Oh my god! And, is that not true? He knows what she said. I don't think so. You've gained a hundred pounds. You became me. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! How much weight has he got here? Uh, since I met him, oh, no okay. shot. He's not mean. I don't think he's mean. Not no, mean. he's not uh, mean. Uh, not me- meaner than he was. You got meaner. Excuse me. Well, well, you, I, also Caddy, was, I, was, I was just what's that? Not I talking. Caddy, would you say this is a tough atmosphere? This is not jerk off New York City. Yeah, but could you? This I mean, you're not, here for. Well, I know, but this is not like we all love each other. These are my best friends. Exactly. Like, I'm not interested in that. But Coleman, like, do you? That's ever, why I wouldn't last in New York. Coleman, do you ever really get like mad, like screaming mad? I, I couldn't question. picture that. Yes, but it takes it like it builds and builds and builds, and then it snaps. I saw him angry once. Really? Yeah. Uh, the day of the layoffs, he, uh, you didn't get the email. Well, that was bullshit. Yeah. And no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying <laughs> he, he wasn't. He wasn't wrong to be angry. And he didn't get the email, or whatever. And he was just kind of locked. He's like, if I go home, that's a bad look. And like, if I stay here, oh, you know if you're laid off or not? I got <laughs> locked out of my email on the way in. And he's like, I don't I, know what's I going on. And he and he he was legitimately, and I think rightfully. Yeah, so. well, that's yeah. that's when you can. But that was the only time I've ever seen you angry. Yeah, I mean, what's there to get mad about in New York when everyone's all happy and you know kissing each other? Oh. 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 I see how it is. All right. Yeah. Hey, meanwhile, when you're in New York, you fucking with the happiest person. Oh, kissing he everybody's ass. Such a nice yeah. guy. Oh, eating, Caroline, eating, sing another song. Eating oh, the cookies. Yeah, I just oh, couldn't be. Yeah, I love those cookies. Content, Kim. They were great. He was oh. an intern. He went back to college. I want to say we hugged each other when you left. <coughs> I didn't, I never went back to. He's college. hugging interns. No, he, no, didn't you? <laughs> the fuck, are you hugging interns for? You no, he gave like the handshake <laughs> hug. Right? One of those things. Didn't you? When did you say I had I, to go back? I, no, well, I did at least that he's when not I kissing him when like I, Richard Dawson. When I, mean, I got laid off. No, went. no, before that. No, no, no. This is like this is like this, my first summer. Yeah, no, I thought I, was, I remember. I or maybe I was there. It, you're right. You the interns confused. You're hugging. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, no, no, it was I'm like one of the handshake, like like one of the bro Bring hugs. it in, brother. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know I needed interns at EI purposely. <sighs> it's, it's, Others did, but I did not. Right. What were you gonna say? Well, he was sitting right near me. We, we sat right near each other. We're in the same row. Coleman was great. I love Coleman. I said you should hire him. Loved. Loved. Yeah. Yeah. Loved. Yep. Yeah. How Ooh. long do you guys work <clears throat> with each other in there? <laughs> a half? Like a month? Excuse me. Jesus. Year and a half. Yeah. About oh, year, year and a half? half? Yeah. Pretty much. Because we can forget I, that collaboration. Yeah. We had a couple, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, well, yeah. You were doing Rundown for a while. Yeah. And, and he was, oh, he was helpful getting me on Rundown. Coleman was... I, 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 I like Coleman a lot. I really do. <laughs> Col- Coleman's great. Yeah? I really do, yeah. He should be in New York. Like, no. there. Just See, doing this. Is, I knew this was coming. He would go. Why? Oh, okay. Just, like, he's doing a good job here. Why? He doesn't get the show. That's bullshit. That's the face you're making right now is... He's figuring it out. That face That's not like. fair. Chris, you don't think if Feidelberg called him, he would go Two tomorrow? Seconds. That's not even the criticism. Two seconds. Or Kevin or anybody, just he would he would go. I don't well, I, I don't think so because he's here now. What okay, let's say he did that. Now Kirk's gonna go scorched earth on him and like I what, would not. I would, can tell you I would not. Bullshit. I would I've told him that since the beginning. He, he, it's different because like guys like Justin or you claim to be KMS guys, but you're you look at the bigger which is fine. That's not but you know that you know that's not true fine. at all. They, now don't, you don't bother me. Don't even That's not it. true. That's why it doesn't bother you. Doesn't bother you either. Does oh yeah, it? who oh, <laughs> Who, well, this Bobby's still lying. Who said I should do idle again? Who? Me. Yeah, you told right. me to do idle, and I do idle. And you get mad? I did idle. Well, you stabbed Dan in the back. I did not stab anyone in the back. It's fine. Water, <laughs> water bridge torn. <laughs> so <laughs> full of shit. But Coleman is like a New York. He's a bar stool. Like these old tweets are just very telling. What old tweets? Yeah, are very, <laughs> are very telling. Like, I don't really care too too much about that. Yeah. I just roll with my man Fuss, and uh, if he says go, I go. That's about it. <laughs> That's a terrible drop. I, I wanted oh, one Ron, time to play. Absolutely it. awful drop. <laughs> it's so it confused. made no sense at all. Me and my boy Fuss. Jesus. Anything else? You got a few more minutes. Uh, a couple. Uh, 
Dan Shauna just said Kurt Schilling will not be at that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think he would go. I'm surprised Shaughnessy knows that. Uh, you see this, uh, well, you sent this Trenny audio. Oh, Jesus, this dummy. So she's on with Jim and Marjorie. Still? And she's talking about the, yeah, like once a week, I think. And they're talking about the last part of the documentary, is that right? They're talking about the Eagles <coughs> Super Bowl in general, and this is this is early on. in the. Uh... They blow, they don't even mention the last picture of the Super Bowl. It's weird. Not really. Like, they just kind of blow through it, right? They spend a lot of time on Butler, which is fine. It's a good, mm. that's fair, but yeah. So this is them kind of introducing the Super Bowl 52. Mm. Yep. One of the great plays was that the quarterback, Statue whose of name Liberty. is Nick Foles, is that what it's called? I think it's called the Statue of Liberty. It is not called the Statue of Liberty play, Trenny, no. you dummy. That's what I mean. Like she's, and then she doubles down that, right? Yeah, and then a couple minutes later, they're, they're talking about it, and she... They got beat um, on this Statue of Liberty play by the Eagles, and it's the thought process is that he feels like he lost to such an inferior player. Oh, okay. And that, you know, they would have had... Who is this for, these segments? Or, Who are they, they for? So and yada 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 and that's okay, she, so the statue uh, I forget they had a specific Philly really special right yeah right it's yes. different I think, I think it's like a statue like they right, built the statue. a statue of this you, yeah, like they yeah, actually right. built a statue of the Philly so special so thinks the statue of liberty play is that which it's not well they describe it too and he describes the statue because it's like you pass you go it, the guy comes around and gets the ball behind it but yeah, like that's right. not what happened at all <laughs> it's definitely not what happened so yeah she's an idiot <clears throat> yeah I can't you ever talk to her at all I haven't talked to her since I left EI you talked to Gary still Oh, once in a while. Yeah, we, I talked to Gary like a month ago, maybe. And um, obviously, you don't talk to Tomasi, I'm sure. I don't talk to Tomasi. Trying to grow that group that you would have. I talked to Al. I haven't talked to Alex oh. in a while, but Alex and I yeah, have a good Alex, relationship. Yep. Um, Mutt, I try not to talk to, but <laughs> rolls in here. Uh, Rob, I talk to. Um, I don't talk to Ken or Chris, obviously. I don't talk to Jerry. I'm trying to think. Talk to Glenn, it sounds like. I talked to Glenn. Yeah. Uh, Glenn will be here in a few months. That'll be a big day for you, Steve. Oh, big, I can't uh, wait. Big show fan. Oh, right? man. Wine line, you, you, you on the wine line? Yeah, you were. Oh yeah, I love the you wine call? line. You call? I would call. Did I you would, make it? Few times. I made it a couple of times. Few I was times, very excited, but not really a lot. I made it once. Because, Did you? Yeah. I remember being in the car with Rob and I made it. And I was like, yes. I was, I was so pumped. Yeah. <laughs> what's his name? Was filtering him out? Andy. Andy. Yeah. His producer Andy. Yeah. Who's yeah. it? Who works over there now? I think. I think he went to public radio. Oh really? Yeah. Which is a way better. Who was the other? I can't think of the other producer. Brett. Brett Erickson. Brett. Brett. There we go. Dick. But yeah, Andy was okay. He was sensitive. He was a good guy. Um, but yeah, Trenny's a moron. Wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you like did a quick. I'm... Oh. No. Did you guys have to play? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what, happened? what happened? I thought when you said like the sensitive thing, I, I caught a quick Justin like. Would you say it's a sensitive reaction to that, Coleman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I don't even know what. I, I, play, I was, that, that should be the title of the show. Be today. more sensitive, Coleman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're all sensitive I'm just today. Out of the corner of my eye, I catch a little. Oh, Steve is as sensitive as it gets. Uh, yeah. Dirty yeah. dancing oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah you got me. But you said it. You I offered know, it. I know. It was bad. Huh. Okay. I, I get sensitive. <clears throat> Why? It's okay. I don't know. We all like you, right? Just well, we all, love. you know, this part of your... You say love? I love him. Oh. I'll give him a hug. Thank you. I'm a hugger. It was, it's part of your personality traits, right? You can be mad. You can be sensitive. I mean... People always a... say this. They're like, oh, I'm afraid. Well, you f- I'm going to shoot you in the head. I'm it's not... it's intimidating Until your first you couple do. times. No. The, it was to me. The first time, yeah. Like, yeah was, oh, yeah. Terrible. Yeah, you were terrible the first time. Yeah, it was not. I, I, was, was, great I was terrible the first half. The were you really? half I don't remember. I, I remember. It, it was the, really? We, you called uh, Dave's dad. Um, we called Mr. Portnoy about, uh, I don't think it was the toilet paper in the shoe. <laughs> was that <laughs> something else? Name. Was it about Dakara? Was it like a lawsuit lingering or I something? I forget. I don't know what. Probably last time he was on. It was, but you talked to him forever. And I think because you were like, I don't want to deal with. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. The call went off. It was a Carano. It was a Carano brought me in. It was me and Carano. Yeah. I never did a show with Steve Robinson. Is that, but you met him, obviously. I met him at, uh, oh, met him at a lot of shows, and especially Mississippi. But now he apparently hates me. He always takes shots at me. It's very strange. That's, that's, that's Steve, though. He, that means he likes you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. He unfollowed me on Twitter and everything, though. Yeah. He, did that to like everyone. No. Oh, all right. I don't know. I was like, oh. No good right. blame. <laughs> no, it's, I'm, it's, a, I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty good. It's, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, don't know. I, follow, I follow Clumber. I follow you on Twitter, right? Yes, you do. Yeah, there you go. I, uh, I think I always have. No, you haven't. You've, uh, you've, you never blocked me. I actually probably did once or twice. Oh, oh you like, know what you do? You know what you do? You'd block me and then unblock me so I couldn't follow you. And then I would probably message you be like, why don't you follow me on Twitter? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you, you would just do that. I'm like, I did it twice. I thought I fucked up because yeah, technology. I probably did that. I'm like, oh, so petty. That's funny, though. You, you have to do that, though. Yes, that's funny. What are you? What, what's wrong with you? It wasn't. You weren't doing it for funny, you know. Because then it's, you come on and say you want to murder me and all this, all this shit. I, no, it's what happened. But Castellani's a bad guy. But I want to murder you, and everything's okay. You're here. You're joking around. 
For know, fraud. You're consistent, right, Steve? Absolutely. There's like you. But you have, you have to block people I will every say, once though, in a while. Like, you can I say did. you want to murder me, but when you start going after the guy's like wife and his dog, I'm yes. like, fuck. Yeah. So I guess that's a line that... Right. I don't want to murder your dog. Right. Do you still have your dog? Uh, what, one. One funded pat. Wakefield's gone. but Dude, All these Wakefields are dying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, 14 and a half. Oof. And what God. you have, Melfi? Melfi, yeah. Melfi's doing great. She's almost four. Steve knows that. He's in the fucking movie title. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's a fucking dog's name. Well, he knows the important things. Yeah. So is it tough having a dog around there? Uh, Roosevelt Island's great. We have dog oh, parks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm in this weird island between Manhattan and yeah, Queens. Yeah, so. That's actually not a bad spot. For it's that great. Spot. You, would li- you would like it. There's oh, like a running area. No, if, yeah, you had to be, if you had to be in New York City, you would like uh, it there, is what I'm saying. If I had, if Dave said, listen. Are you saying there's a couch Kirk could crash on? No. Am I welcome to stay there? You could stay there. Thank you. Love that. I have an air mattress for you. <laughs> oh, great. If Dave said to me, I would, if I needed a job, whatever, there's some deal that I had to work at Barcelona for two years and I had to live in New York, I would live in like Greenwich or Westchester right. or something. I mean, if you had to live in the city limits for whatever oh, reason, yeah. this yeah. would be the best because you, cause you're isolated away. There's a running trail. Like it's. Lincoln Center area is nice though. Upper West Side? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's not too bad to get there. That's a great place to live in your 30s, I think, is that like Upper West Side. Yeah, oh, you think, yeah. There's a lot that's of cool. cultures, like stand-up. There's true. a lot of stand-up comedy stuff there, but it's that's also true. like in the city, and it's like... Stand-up comedy should be covered more in a podcast form or YouTube form. Yeah. You never see it. Somebody should yeah. be doing that. Don't yeah. you think, Justin? Uh, Especially the history time. of it. Yeah. Or about like, you know, like Crystal Lee or something. Like just again and again <laughs> and again and again and again and again and again. And over and over. What's Stuttering John up to? What was that? What's Stuttering John up to? What's Woody Allen up to? Very true. Uh-oh. Oh, fired up for you. Oh, oh, yeah. you. He was yeah, coming in. Everyone's, everyone's sensitive Dude, to this. Kramer slot. God. Buy Mike.net, of course. Subscribe. Of course. I am a subscriber. Do you subscribe? I am. Yeah. I thought you didn't. I thought Craig went to your house. And- <laughs> no. no. <laughs> My wife went subscribed. I always subscribe. Oh, your wife doesn't and, subscribe and anymore. And that motherfucker spread lies that said I unsubscribed. Wow. And, wow. and everyone should know I am. I've always been. I'm one of the first. One of the charter <laughs> members of... Uh, Really? I think so. <clears throat> well, there you go. BuyMike.net and the Buy My Project on YouTube, correct? Yes. Y- yes. Yes. All right. You want to, and you want to promote Chris while you're here. Uh, pick Central uh, every day. And uh, if you're a baseball fan, I'm doing uh, Trusted Data Picks. My first pick lost. Not great. Uh, but I'll be doing those throughout the baseball season. You took a bath last year, right? Uh, no, I, no I, went, I, was, I finished positive like one unit. Okay. Yeah, but but right. didn't you stop? Because didn't you say like if you finish oh, negative, you'll like... You, something happened, right? I said if I finish negative, I won't do it next year if I finish positive, so... I feel like, how can I say I'm a... Who is going to win the National League Cy Young this year? Ooh. People want to know. People are asking me. Dark Horse, because he has amazing stuff, but he hasn't got together Spencer Strider. Sure, the Giants. Uh, Braves. Braves, yeah. Uh, He has amazing strikeout numbers, but he'll... Funny, he has inconsistencies. Like a young Francisco Liriano. There we go. If he could figure it out, though, he has amazing stuff. NL MVP. That's a name. NL MVP? Francisco Liriano. Twins. Yeah, you pulled that one out. (sighs) Thank you, Steve. Uh, (laughs) Appreciate that. (laughs) NL MVP. NL MVP. Uh, uh, Mookie Betts moving to shortstop is, is an interesting story. And the okay. Dodgers team is going to win 110 games. Okay. Mookie Betts. Sure. Okay. World Series champion. You got to go Dodgers, I guess, because it's like they have so They're much talent. But then, right. Look what happened last year. They're like the Celtics. Celtics have that coach who I don't like. You don't I, like the current I coach? I did not did? like what he did the other night at the end of the game. He tried to block that guy's shot. Oh, you saw that? I'm old. Yeah. I don't video. like that. Don't like oh, that. Yeah. I'm with yeah. Charles Barkley. Did you see that? No, I did not. Game ended Missoula. They're playing the Suns, right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> the guy takes a shot, and Missoula kind of runs on the court and kind of pretends like he's going to block the guy's shot. Yeah. Barkley's right. He's like, what if he randomly land on the guy's ankle? Yeah. So he's just yeah. a dick. Like, it's, and he's very sensitive. He's, the Celtics are not, Kirkman hand guarantee, are not winning the championship this year. Print it. No. Print it. Because oh, of him. Because oh they're built for the championship. I mean, they have Eastern a good Conference team. Final. But yeah. For exactly. the first time since what year, Coleman, the Knicks are going to win the championship? Uh, since. If you get it right, I'll pick them. Uh, since 70, 72? Fuck. Got it. I can't pick it. it. I'm still not picking oh, it. Oh, you can't. Wow. Wow. You can't. You can't. This is the year. Way to go, Coleman. Yeah, I know the Knicks. Yeah, well, you don't, but you don't really. Who was the coach of that team? Yes, I do. Uh, that was, hang on. That was... That's what I mean. Like, he might get yeah. it, but it doesn't mean you're a... Well, but there it is, so that was a long time ago. I mean, I, it's a historic... It's I knew yeah. one of the most famous coaches. in the 50s when I was growing up. Hall of Fame coach. I get it. He's right? the most famous coach in... They have his... his wins are you retired, know. correct? Oh, I think... Uh, Didn't they put his win total on the... I don't know. Did they? Yeah. They may have. Is it next to, like, the Billy Joel banner? Yes. Um. Uh. Was it Pat Riley, then? That's, I don't know. That's tough. 
I, I, it's a random name I'm throwing out. That's yeah. a fucking disgraceful yeah. guess. Come <laughs> Come I, that, that, that might be your worst. Could, if you claim to be a Knicks fan, that might be your worst guess. All right, yet. whatever. No, don't do that. Don't I figure do that. that what the next one's going to be for his, his guess. Who's that? After Power. Van Gundy? Like, yeah, that, that, that would No. That would, that no. Would Capone be was like, one. no, couldn't be. No, couldn't yeah, be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riley coached the Knicks like 20 years later. Yeah. Yeah. He was playing at that point. That's what I'm saying. Like, five years later. A coach, a name. Like, I just. Couldn't think Red. of else. Red. Oh, don't don't start doing last names. Don't. <laughs> don't, do don't do I'm gonna get. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is. But this is. Wait, I mean. Red. I, you, I, that seventy-two thing means nothing. That was a guess. No, no, I think he, no, no, no. probably yeah. saw the banner, but I. But he, I wonder if he knows any players in the team. What player for the Knicks famously? He probably, he came, know one. Came back after he oh, got okay. hurt during a game. Game seven. That was seventy, though, right? Not seventy-two. I mean, I know back then was like Walt, like Walt Frazier. Right, because right. he called he's the on, games. He's on TV, yeah, that's right, why yeah. you know. Walt and, yeah. But like Walt and Breen are who I grew up with. Breen was on that team, though, just so you know. Yes, I, okay. <laughs> I know that. Who sprained his ankle, came back? Very, the most famous moment in Knicks history. Going back on the court. Yeah. Lefty. First name, Willis. Oh, uh, Willis Reed. There you All go. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, a guy on the team, Dave, he played baseball and basketball? Dave. He did play for the White Sox, right? Play for the White Sox. I no. Dave the Busher? No. Heard it, but no. Earl Monroe? Earl the Pearl? You got it. Yeah. Huge fan. Would you know do you know those uh, names, Steve, or not? Yeah. How many times did, did the Knicks have, make the state uh, make the finals in the nineties? Uh, I don't think he was on there. He's not Pistons, right? Pistons? I remember <coughs> Dave Bing. I one twice. Well, I'm just thinking because Jordan, but I know that made the it, strike season. Yeah. It was an eight seed, I think. I think you're right. Yeah. They Alan Houston at that shot in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. That's tough. That's actually a tough question. For him. How many times did they make the finals? Let's make the finals. You know, Red Holtz it's, it's the last time that they made the finals. But I, I actually well, weren't they in the really final during the OJ chase? Yeah. 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 That was 94. Yeah. Yeah. They lost in seven games. That was that, the, oh, that was yeah. a joint retirement. Yeah. That was the year the yeah. Knicks didn't even got past the Bulls, but they just Pippen got screwed in that Hugh Hollins call. But that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you that, Coleman. You know what? You, you know of course. That, yeah. What's the book that you read about the Knicks? You should read that. Blood in the Garden? Is that the one? Yeah, he should read read that. He can't even read, probably. What? I, I like he, reading. What's the last book you read? There's a, a fucking Hermione Kreiner in it, whatever the hell her name is. No, Granger. I'm, I've Granger. been between these two books for a while. Just That's I, a good sign that somebody reads a lot when they're between two books for a while. Between for a while. No, like I've... Between like, two ferns, between two books with this idiot. <laughs> no, two books reading, that just reading saying two names. books. What books are you reading right now? One is the second Game of Thrones, and the other is Lincoln Highway, which is like a completely different... I know. I read Lincoln Highway. It's not that great. It's not very good. Yeah. You're not, you'll never finish that book. I will. I'm I like halfway he reads, through. He reads more than you think, I think. If you read a page, he reads more than I think. What's I the, do. What is the book you? What is the book that you had the author on? I forget the Blood name. Blood in the Garden. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah, okay. it was good. It was very good. Chris I, I, Herring. Yeah. Good guy. I keep meaning to pick that up. I have Friends with his son. Hmm? Chris Herring Jr. Good guy. What's the second game? No, not the basketball player, Chris uh, Herring. Oh. Chris Herring. Oh, I thought you said Chris. What, what's your pace right now? Book a week or two a week? Yeah, kind of like six, seven days. Yeah, not a hundred book a year, mm-hmm. like 40, 50 books. That was the last book I read that I liked. I don't even know. <clears throat> there was a book about Francis Ford Coppola that I didn't like that much. The oh. Making of Apocalypse Now. I was disappointed. I didn't really like it. I just finished a Jets oral history that wasn't very good. Who wrote that? I forget. It was written. I forget the name. Who wrote it? I'm reading a book right now about Luke Perry. Oh, really? It's actually very good. So, well, it's a biography this woman wrote about him, but she writes about, it's actually very well written. But then she does like her own narrative of what's going on in her life while it's going on. I, I'm skipping through I was going to say, that sounds annoying. Yeah, it's very it's a bad device. I don't know why she did it. Like there's a good book there already, so. Is it called The Loop Files? <sighs> the Jets or History? Yeah. No, it's not. I, it, Is it called The What? The Loop, the loop files? files? No. Oh. I'll take a picture when I get home. Uh, no, that's Please not, do. Sorry. All right. Uh, anything else or no? No. Boys? There's a couple other stories, but. Give me one and we'll get out of here. If it's Kate, any good. Kate Middleton. Her medical records. I'm so I'm right. I mean, <laughs> why are we even doing this? Right, 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 Steve. Absolutely. You don't believe that's her in that picture. That picture's not ridiculous, right? Not at all. Right? Not at all. I don't. I don't. It doesn't look like her. It's not her. It's not her. But, what, about, but like, why? Then why? Because she's dead. No, she's not. She's, she's dead. What? You think she died? Like, how did she die? Who knows? I don't know. People die. Gone. People yeah. tried to steal her medical records to find out. I don't <laughs> think she's dead. Maybe, she, maybe the curtain thing. That so def- a lot of people. <laughs> that definitely wasn't curtain? her the other day. Yeah, it's fucking curtain. What's that? That wasn't her the other day. 
No, Steve was not yeah, her the other left. day. You're so right. There's rumors that they're hiding her because of a William had an affair or something. Why or would she you, did or but why what? would you hide her? I don't. She really, found I, out. Maybe bulimia. I don't know. Maybe she's. I, I, maybe she's going away for alcohol. I, I'm all speculation, but something's going. The the parading William walking around with this person. That's crazy. It's fucking. That's nuts. crazy behavior. <laughs> fucking insane. Looks nothing like her. Nothing. Look more like you. And they're gonna have her on like what is it? The end of the month. They're gonna have her like I guess they're gonna showcase Kate Middleton. They say. But no one's going to believe it's her. I'm not one of these people like Montante. I will not think that's her. You're becoming like Kelly Keegs when it comes to this stuff. I know. I'm very into it. <laughs> yeah, very, very crying, into it. But yeah. That will be next. Well, yeah. Like when the owl died. It was <laughs> yeah. very sad. That was, a, that was a strange moment for Kelly. Or being in the cab the she, other day. People like the owl. I, mm-hmm. thought, I thought it was a lot. But then I had a bird crash in my window. Uh-huh. And uh, I went outside and I saw the bird die in front of me and I cried. You did. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they say when a bird flies into your window, it's bad luck. Like, three months later, I got divorced. Oh, it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh. Thought you, I, thought oh, you, I was like, I thought you were telling us something. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> when a bird flies in your house, like, I had a... a bird shits in you, it's good luck, right? Yeah. But I had a bird fly into my house yeah. over the summer, and my dad died a couple months later. So they say that that's a bad sign. Like, if a when bird flies in. into a... Really? Start into hugging family members. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You think so? Hmm. Dad. Okay, Jesus. All right, we're back tomorrow? Yes. Who's here tomorrow? We have uh, Robbie V and Danny and Bill Ricca. Good God. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're not looking forward I thought to you, that? I thought you were... Danny's a, a sweet guy. You, you, I thought you How were, do you know him? Uh, Danny's looking forward to did coming Did you do in. a Quantum Kirk? I did a Quantum Kirk. Oh, you did? What, what episode did you do? Uh, oh, the Lamley. Oh, sure. Well, naturally, of course, right. Um, he wants to clear his name tomorrow. He can't wait to come in. Uh, you one of the 90,000 people you talk to, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I don't talk to as many. I'm not Montante. Who talks What's to a clear his name? Well, you've been down. Yeah, he wants to. You've been down on him. And well, he took Daver's side. Yep. So that's fine. He's his partner. Is Daver gonna, gonna come back in here? No, no. no he's he's done, no, done. He's done. He's done. He's like he's Carano. Done. And what? In you guys are saying Tim Riggles got rid of his Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. He confirmed? had a tough night the other night. Well, it's confirmed that he got rid of his Twitter. But like, I, I don't know. Like, it had something to do with the show. He had a meltdown on the Minif one yeah, of the wrap up. So, like, the Minif fans, yeah, <laughs> which you can he hear did. on the Kirk Minahan, uh, you see on the Kirk Minahan YouTube channel. That's right. Yeah. And it will be live from Gritty's. Yeah. Yeah. He. Something was going on there. Huh. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for that clarification. Good, good recap. Appreciate good recap. That. But you must know what happened because you probably talked to him. I was live when it happened. Oh, you were on the show. I was on the show. And That's then right. He, he messed up Sean. Bad. He messed up Sean Aston. He said something to with be bad, Kevin, with, uh, with Kevin, Kevin Connolly. I knew yes. that, but like, why would that make you upset? I think he was probably pretty fucked up, too. Oh. Yeah. As he usually is. He and seemed he, like that. Then he said something to Beanbag Ron, and then he got up and closed his laptop and walked away. What a sentence, Steve. How proud <laughs> your father would be if he could hear you say that. You know? I'm not proud. You don't think so? Uh, I don't think... I think he was. But you like the he show never, or no? He never communicated. Never said he loved you? Never, never, never. He, no amore. No. That's something my dad did not do. My mother did, but my father was not. Smothered by the Italian mother. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. But my dad, no. We never. Never told him you loved him. No, because he didn't. He, you didn't tell your dad, Chris. No. Did my dad say he yeah. loved him? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. I, don't his he dad, did. I don't think he did, but yeah. His dad wasn't uh, very. Like, That's how it works. Loving. And he, my dad would tell me he loved me. Because my, <clears> my dad would always tell me he got lost. That was hard on If you say it to him, you oh, get lost. That would always be his follow-up, so you knew not <laughs> to say it. Fuck off. If you said you loved him, you said get lost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, get lost. But that told him you loved him? When I was a kid, I did it once because like, oh, I'll get lost because hey, he was never really into I'm sure like his dad was tough. Hey, dad. Yes, very tough. Your, uh, what'd you call your grandfather? Nonno. Nonno. Yeah. Grandmother was nonne. Nonna. Nonna. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Hey, dad. Happy, we... happy birthday. Love you. Get, get lost. The fuck get out of here. Get he the just fuck wasn't. Out of here. He, well, just on the other side, he doesn't get smothered too much. So that's why yeah, he's like, he's not affectionate yeah. at all. Not at all. Your mother's buying you gas and your dad's. My mom buys me a tank of gas every two months. Right, right, right. Your dad doesn't tell you he loves you? Yeah, tell my dad I love him. What does he say? Just up, love you. Yeah. yeah, I'll see you. Love you. It's nice. How about your dad, Coleman? Uh, I don't know if he's a big like. He can't love you. Love you, guy. Like he's. Yeah. Well, your dad didn't, right? Never. Well, no, love. Yeah. <clears throat> Pride never. He's, he shows it, you know. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, it's important. Well, that's yeah. what my dad did. Yeah, be more. Your dad like, loved you. Steve, buying I'm you sure. things. Yeah, like doing buying things you for things. you, taking you places. Sure, I'm sure. Like dad, that's yeah. what he was doing, but he would never. What did you say? Verbally the end? say it. I. I told him that, but he had dementia. His yeah, mind was so gone that he couldn't, he didn't know where he was. So Chris didn't get a chance to see his dad. Chris was busy that day. He was fucking 
What am I watching on baseball? Watching this weekend baseball. That, no, yeah. no, there was no baseball. It was a strike year. Oh, like it's even Fox. worse. It's even so worse. I, I, the only distraction I had was gone. I was, oh, it was awful. It was the worst year of my life. But the worst thing with my mother was... <laughs> the worst year of his life because of baseball strike. His <laughs> yeah. dad died. Baseball strike and then bad. <laughs> well, no, it was, all, it was a whole... Oh, it, was, it was the worst year ever. It was that's awful. a tough year. 94? Oh, yeah. ER's mm. first year. And he was sick like the whole year. Tough. Oh, that's like, tough. He got tough. You know, he was diagnosed back, but they basically the remission ended in January. And yeah, he, yeah, he died in December. Uh, so, so it was just like awful, <coughs> awful brutal. Year. But with my mom, she had COVID, and it was during the lockdown, so we couldn't even go to the hospital. To see oh, her. So right. I didn't even have like oh, a last terrible. conversation with her or anything. But so she died means, there alone. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was Sorry. that that's was rough. Awful. Did she know that you? Uh, gave Selma high candy before she died. Was she, she aware did. of that? That's good. That must have that's, that's, that's comforted her since uh, in her, in her of moments of being right alone. There. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, yeah. Maybe meeting Casey in Portland. That might be number two. You know, just throwing it out there. I'm starting to get worried for Casey. Yeah. Are you gonna? Steve's a normal guy. No, I, I'm harmless. Yeah, he's harmless. Yeah. Maybe she'll find him attractive. I don't know. Who knows? That yeah, looks I, like Joe Torre. I, I think. I think Casey has a significant other. Oh well. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah, that one. I thought it was going to be on the arm. <laughs> threesome. You know, Steve, Steve, Steve oh, didn't that. say no. You know, who knows? Who's to say, right, right, Justin? That's right. Justin said threesomes before. Oh, so many. Yeah. Congratulations. Then he turned four. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is <happens. laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do Here that response, go. Justin. That's, that, that's a Here sense of sounding response, though. You do. Yeah, you burned me. That's, that like, a, to be the that's like a Castellani show. response. It is. You know. Yeah. There'll be a blog tonight. Dog to fuck you or something. That's true. That's true. You don't want Clyde to die. Yeah. You, what do he say? Yeah, I'm not gonna wish death upon your wife or your Yeah, dog. I'm not gonna do that. But if I yeah. did, here's what I'd say. No, you know what All are you right. gonna do? All right, we're back uh, tomorrow. Yes, we got a lot. We have a busy day today, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Christ. And it's trivia. I gotta get refocused for trivia. I don't wanna give away my niche category right now, but gotta stay focused. But so I was. I had a game plan against Brandon's team. Oof. I I, I laid it out right because they're Frank. They always get the um, face mesh. Which we never get. Right. In the finals last year, we got that against them. Mm -hmm. And then we won the bonus round. Right. That's our, my path to victory against that team. We have to... So I was thinking, like, focus on this. Focus on this. Not that it would help us. But at least that again... This, I have no idea what's going on. You know what helps me with the face mask? Playing the daily dozen every day. It gets me, like, used to doing it. I'm getting better I never at get it. it. <clears throat> today, I knew the inside today... I haven't done today. ...was either. easy. Yeah. The outside, I had no idea. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, yeah. Fuck. Right. No. Fuck. I suck at it. And you know, Hank's not great at that, and Rico's not great at it. So helps we us, suck. like having Gia, like nail that. Right, their family is a weird. Double uh, it up every time. Ooh. What? Oh, that's obvious. It bo don't do that. No, 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 the the inner one. Who's the inner I, one? I don't remember. Is it Brian Cranston? Yes, yes, yeah. It was like but the inner's already obviously easier. Inner's wait, I that, the outer's <laughs> the one I always have a hard time with. Yeah. But I think the inner's just easier. It's their face. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of how it works, right? Right, Steve. You, you know what we're talking about, Dave. I do. You play the daily dozen. I don't play it, but I see the dozen enough. To know what they're talking about. Your friends about. What are you guys talking about. After that call, I don't oh, think so. That's true. I mean, he, down on he, you. he was down on me. When is the next episode of the Consistency Podcast on the Kirkman and YouTube channel? No pressure. This weekend. I was taped on the weekends. I like to go through the full week. Are you surprised at what a benevolent leader I am of the YouTube channel? Not surprised. Team player. Not surprised. No. Nope. Do you feel bad at all for stealing it from Menners? I didn't steal it from Menners. Oh, okay. No. It's just I didn't, a, it's I didn't steal it from Menners. Yeah. I didn't. People complained. They wanted somewhere else, yep. and then he said that he wanted this show to be forty percent about his about. His that was show. strange, yeah, yeah. So that I was, said, "Look, no, like," yeah. the, uh, and I reached out, and people. He was on the other night. He did that thing the other night. I will just say, of his inner group, the Axe and uh, 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 Visionless Dave, of those two, two reached out to me and said they wanted to join. <laughs> <the network. laughs> oh, <no. clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. That's like, you're a Menor's guy, though, right? I I like Menor's. I. I I think Menor's maybe isn't handling. He's losing the plot, the I think. A yeah, yeah, he's got to he's got to settle gotta, that. Would you okay? Would you be willing to maybe have Menor's be the CEO of your network? No, because because these guys don't want him as a CEO. I'm, I'm no, don't want him. We have John from Scranton. He was uh, right. he was a crackhead, but he's but he's but he's the CEO of the network. Okay. Who's also really good at reaching out. Yeah, he's good messages. He's a, he's a he's a leader. He's yeah, a, he's who we want. We want John. This is like the John. New York office. We're just having fun over here. We're just having a good time. Hide and seek. Whatever they kick the can. <laughs> What's the one where you put your arms out and you run through the arm? Red Rover. Red, red Rover. Red Rover. Send, send Fran. A, uh, that's like a New York thing. Let's not, you know, let's not, you know, release. I don't want to get, get away from your please. content. The Red Rover in, in we September. Got whole, is we got a whole thing. Awesome. Except, except for Fridays, though, right? Because nobody's 
They're Friday. Well, Friday. Yeah. No Friday. Yeah. Is that the bit? Ooh, clever jump. Well, that's what we heard. That's, oh, a, that's, that's, a, that's a clever oh, jump. That's a clever oh, no jump. Friday. Why don't you come in on Fridays and see if you see my skinny ass there? I'll come in Friday. <laughs> right. Who did you? you who did you <laughs> went after somebody ahead. like it's not fair to Kelly that day? Who was shitting on her about Fridays one day? A week ago, you tweeted this. Was it Tate? Oh no, it was, oh, it was uh, Tate. No, it was, it, Tate didn't. But someone responded to Tate and was like, "Oh, is, is she awake? It was a Monday. Is she awake yet?" And I'm like, "They all got there super early to do rat race. They got there at 7:30 a.m. If someone gets up that early." To do the show with me, I'm going to defend White night, he, white night. He really defends it's not white night. I'm, I'm you defend her a lot, though. I defend anyone nice who is getting on like a really I different level. I never got the, the defense from Clemmer, but, but you're, whatever. That's such bullshit. I defend you all the time. Actually, I don't, I don't even need to defend you anymore because everyone likes you now. But, I know, it sucks. Yeah, you hate that. It sucks. Huh? You hate, you're trying, you hate, but nobody, yeah. everyone's afraid to punch back. Brandon? I love Brandon. He's my friend. That's what I mean. No, in terms no. of like somebody who might punch it's back. Not, it's not about being afraid to punch back. You've become friends with all of us. That's not true. A lot of you. I went through the list. Of people who went to dinner. And you're like, oh yeah, I like them. I like them, a, I like them. This is you like everyone now. That was just, that was the same thing four years ago. If you read those names to me, I'd be like, yeah, I like those guys. No, 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 you didn't. You didn't like. You hated some Marty people Bush. There. No, you know, Tommy. You, you didn't. Will Cobb. I didn't you know. Like, I don't know these. Dave, people. I was friends with. Dan, I was friends with. Kevin, I was friends with. Feilberg, I was friends with. Like, well, I think you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of other people back then, but, but you. But you didn't have a. You never relationship. I'm not with a lot softened. Of you softened on like Frank. I like For, Frank. Yeah, because you know him more. That's what I'm going to get into. You did it. But like, I hate you. You soften a bit on Frank. Like, what? What's the shit on Frank? I just thought Frank was Kirk a phony. Was, yeah, Kirk was never I thought it was a bit. Which yeah, it, but he's like, he but softened, it kind of is. You I soften mean. a bit more on these guys now, more than maybe in the past, where mm -hmm. like you were going uh, a little bit more. Why don't you line up all the people at the company who would start the show by saying what I said about Castellani today? Just line them all up. Nobody would do it. There'll be nobody here. Right. Nobody would. Nobody else is going to do that. Might be. Uh, You mean like. Well, I. You mean just like talk like honestly about yeah, the situation? Right. Yeah. I mean that's kind of what that's what you do best. That's well, no, but I'm just saying like he works at the company. Yeah, he does. If somebody does something, I'll respond to it. Nobody does anything anymore. Everyone's like just so fucking happy. Chicago is a fucking it's it's, fun. It's, it's fucking fun. Oz. And New York's just a bunch of people who are just Good defeated, show. just kind of sit around like that's yeah, we're having not, fun. That's not at all. That's not true. That's I heard Kevin. True. I heard Kevin was going around after the that draft the other day, thanking everyone for being there. He still thinks he's the leader of the office. The that's, draft was months ago. No, no, no the, not the bracket. Bracket. The bracket, bracket busters. Thing. Oh, oh, he didn't. He didn't thank me for being there. Oh, he hates you. Ooh. But he's going out. Yeah. <laughs> slept through it. I'm like, he's still pretending. Oh, he's slept through it. Slept through it. That, that's you, a good line, right? Keep there, bringing Coleman. that bell, home, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fine. Jesus Christ. All right. Tough guy, Coleman. <laughs> he, he he does think he's a tough guy. He does. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, if he, he, I really hope next time you go to New York, bring him with because he's gonna be like, oh I hey, know. I want to see him hug everybody. Yeah, he's going. Oh, he'd be all excited if he saw Caroline. No, she's she's blocked me. Yeah, but but you would love to like probably be like girl. He would love to go in. Girl, Actually, in fairness, uh, he pushed back on Caroline with the Barbie stuff. I got to defend Coleman on that one. He did. Uh, with the stool seat. That was that was a low mo. Even you would agree. I know you love these girls. That was th like crying because guys didn't like Barbie is fucking very weird. Like, <laughs> insane. I, I, I said it to like, her. Actually, like insane behavior. I said it to G on the act. I'm like, if you buy a ticket to a movie, you have a right to an opinion. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's kind of how it works. Yeah, like, like it's like just wasn't for me. Like it, it's I'm glad that people liked it, but like I didn't really like it that much. So what? If you went and saw something, you have a right to criticize it. Yeah, it doesn't make you sexist if you didn't no. like Barbie. But that's what that's what they tried to do. Like yeah, I I hate Kevin was just like I, I don't know what to do. It was like they were crying. Yeah. It was a weird time. I didn't see anyone cry, but people were very upset. Because somebody didn't like Barbie. Which is insane. Is, is that something nuts to you, Justin? It's fucking insane. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's fucking nuts. It'd not be, as nuts as what I'm about to do today. I am very worried about my day today. Yeah. It's, One part in particular is very worrisome to me. Yeah. Well. Hmm? I don't know what to tell <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Danny and Robbie, Robbie v. v. Robbie V tomorrow. Friday is Mike and. John from Scranton. John from Scranton. The CEO. Yeah. The CEO, CEO and Mike. And then next week we got obviously Mike a few times. Mud will be here. Uh, Jeff D. Lowe may be here if UConn Ooh. rolls on. Friday, we have a chance to have Jeff D. Lowe and Andy Mayo in studio. Wow. Oh. Mayo's here a week from Friday, so. Are you guys doing bad? You guys a great team. They've yeah. lost three games all year. Yeah, They're we're gonna, going. Yeah, the that's going to happen. No chance they lose. Yeah. We call we call ourselves, this is embarrassing, but Jeff D. Lowe, we call ourselves the two con. Because oh. we, we go to the UConn games together. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> There's not, three con doesn't make any sense, so Mutt can't go. Well, you're valued. Two con. Yeah, Mutt, let Mutt go with you. Can't. Can't. I don't think he can legally. Go into Boston. I don't think. I don't think there's gonna, so many people on the street. If he runs it, like I think that's actually a thing. I believe you're going to subject Jeff to Mayo. Yes. <laughs> oh, why? He wants it. He wants. He does it. want it. Okay. Down deep, he wants. Well, after it. that call today, yeah, throw him at him. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve. Anything else from you? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay. All right, we got work to do. 
We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, trivia tonight? Yes. yes. Okay.